Definitely shooting Bill and Ted here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I had a couple of auditions for that joint. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the script looking like? I don't know. Okay. I only had it was it was a small role. It wasn't nothing substantial, Word. so it wasn't okay. nothing that could give me enough information to know. You know, like what's happening. Right. right? Like a, it was a, a scene idea. with uh, Bill and Ted though, but. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel like little homie probably got it. Nigga, I'm talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if he's sitting here in town shooting that joint. Okay. But yeah, when we talk to him, we gonna see. Oh, um, what I about to say, dog? Are we recording? Yeah, man. Okay. I didn't know. So I had a fire audition the other day, dog. Yeah, what was it for? Um, this joint that they shooting here, the Showtime, the show, the Showtime joint. Okay. And it's like, I went in there, dog, and usually I don't be feeling it like, you know, like, like, like that. I think most artists, mm. most actors, man, we do auditions, like, mm. after we leave, we kicking ourselves, we think about all these other things that we could have done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, right. But this was one of my mind. I went for that bitch. I, it was three scenes. First scene, I'm looking. I whip that bitch. They looking like, oh, you can tell when you're affecting them. Then mm -hmm. the next scenes, we just had fun in there. So I'm like, yeah. man, if I don't get this, I was up against like, <laughs> I was up against three other cats. Mm -hmm. The first cat was this dude that uh, <laughs> uh, he recognized me from Tales from the Hood too. Oh, for real? It was so trippy. He was like, hey, <laughs> he's. I don't know who this cat was. He said, hey, 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 hey. fuck the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. If anybody didn't know you and I saw you, being, I'd be like, say, 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 how's that shit? <laughs> say, how's that shit? Man, you? the one that they really do is fuck them kids, boy. Any other thing is funny. I got a feeling, son, like, like years from now, like 10, 15 years from now, that's gonna go viral in some weird way, and I'm gonna be like older, like, man, what the fuck? I have a strong feeling. I have a case for that, dog. This is how, how I be getting tagged and shit randomly. But I don't think it's gonna be nothing that's gonna pop now. Oh, he, uh, oh yeah. Something I better tell you since you bring up I, uh, um, Tales from the Hood too. I'm like, I got the hookup is the Tales from the Hood too of of, <laughs> of boobies. Son, you watched? I got the hookup too. You finally watched it? Yeah, I watched it. Okay, I'm gonna ask you about that after my story. All right, cool. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> like, so the first nigga, like, he was like, "Hey, your name Martin?" Yeah, and I'm like. Yeah, it was him, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, he must be like a Facebook friend or Instagram. Because you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't, you don't no, always you know who you meeting in person or something. They got people Word. on my Facebook that I talk to every day. And I ain't even click on this shit. Like, if I saw them out <laughs> and about. You wouldn't really know them. Unless they said their name. Yeah, I would right. know their name like right. a motherfucker, but I wouldn't know their face. You okay, exactly. I mean? right. So I thought I it was another you. one of those situations of, mm. okay, this might be a nigga I know. You know, but right. I just don't know his face. Nah, Comment on something. Whatsoever. Yeah. He just remember. He's like, I remember you from Chelsea Miller too, and he gave me props. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so next thing I know, he then go walk off and like, I think he like a, like a like anxiety attack or some shit. Mm -hmm. I think I threw him Dude. off because I I could tell that he was kind of newer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. And I could right, imagine right. this like one of my first callbacks. And one of the niggas I'm about to go up against in the callback is a nigga I didn't see in, in the, the fucking movie, movie and yeah. shit. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, so I, I was like, that. damn, I, dog, I think I feel like I, feel like yeah. I kind of got into a head because it's like he, he just went left after that. Oh, wow. And then uh, I remember he had these, Holy shit. these blueberries. What? What the fuck? And like one thing, dog, like. Wait, wait, wait. The motherfucker's carrying blueberries? He had blueberries because in one of the part of the scene, son. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. He would be eating. Mm -hmm, got but it. like most cats, that's going to be another reason why I figured he's a little newer because. You don't bring no food to no audition. You know what I mean? If you if it say you eating, right. most times just don't eat. Just make a choice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I mean? Like if, if right. you're gonna eat mime it, cause some some people don't mind miming. But mm -hmm. I know this right. particular casting director, and she let him know because she tried to bring the blueberries in there. And she was like, Man, hold up, hold up. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I don't I don't like I don't I don't fuck with props. I don't fuck with food. Um so I, <laughs> can I ask, did she really say I can't I don't fuck with? Yes. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. I'm this sorry. is this is one of the realest fucking casting directors, like period. You know what I mean? She <laughs> like, she was like the top one in the city um for a minute and then she uh went to uh like she got so like she stood like she this, she she came here off the fucking back of like she uh, helped cast the Y and be more. Yeah, this is the one y'all always talk about. Like yeah, the number one, you know. Right. I mean? But most, yeah. but she's more in like Atlanta now than uh, New Orleans. But okay. she's still like that motherfucker. You hear me? Yeah. Well, I remember like okay. back in the day, one of my first mistakes, like ever, like she got my ass, nigga. Like I remember, right. I didn't, 
I, I think I've told this story before. Yeah, yeah you were called back. Right, I didn't you, bring my hair shot. And she was like, yeah. you bring your fucking hair shot next time or something. She told me straight the fuck up. Like, she don't play, son. Word. She straight up, son. Okay, word. <laughs> so, I, I, I had an outer body experience of remembering when I when she got my ass, when I see him. Because <laughs> I knew she was setting him up. She was like, what are you doing with that? He was like, uh, what, what do you mean? He was like, those. I already knew. I'm like, oh, shit, he done fucked up. She's like, what are you doing with those? He was like, well, you know, in the scene, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be eating. So, I thought she was like, no, you don't fucking eat. You know, and that's what she said. I fuck with that, da da da. But then you know, she she cracked a smile about it. It's like, see, old school her. She's getting your ass. I feel like she's grown because she still made a joke, made her feel good going in. Because right. I don't remember that that time years ago with me. I just was like, damn, I ain't gonna mess this up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay, sure. But uh, yeah, right. he went up in there. And the thing about the them fucking um, the thing about the fucking auditions, dog. Yeah. The walls are thin, especially at that particular one. Okay. So it was like at that one particular one, because there's this other one where you got enough space. But mm -hmm. so you'll be sitting out in the hallway and you can hear the nigga audition in that bit. You hear me? Right. So we all out there and we just chilling. We can hear homie audition. <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah. oh fuck with last. And they can last get to soak up all the notes, bitch. Right. So halfway through, like I mean, halfway through his first scene, they stopped it, and it was like. um Gave him some kind of, I can't even hear what the note was. But I'm thinking in my mind, uh oh, oh, he's fucking it up. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yes. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna fright. So that had me at least two other times. And I was like, all right, Bass, hold it together. Because, you know, I feel like right. that nigga didn't fuck something up. Okay. The next nigga go, you feel right. me? You can hear him through the wall. Now, this cat didn't fuck anything up. But I could hear that he, like, the, the, role, the role is about. It's like this cat, you know what I mean? He he dealing in that that element of drug dealing and shit, but he ain't just that, you know what I'm saying? Like he mm. trying to look out for this other uh, this little dude because he kind of you know messed up with the dude's brother. So that element to me already showed humanity of the character because he feels guilt. If you can't feel guilt, if you just want to mention oh ho, I'm a thug, <laughs> right? Oh boy, went in there with that. That, that thug vibe, you know what I'm saying? And mm. it was I could, it was believable, and that's, that was great. But I could hear, like, all right, I, I, I could throw in some other elements to humanize my situation because that nigga just went straight thug vibe all the way through. Boom, I'm already ready. Okay. So I'm hoping I'm last again. Right. Then I'm third. <laughs> <laughs> Close as you can get, right? Out I of like, four? Fuck, out of four. Yeah. yeah, son. So I did my thing. They rock with me, man. Even this, even the casting director was like, man, she let me know that was a good audition. Yeah, and yeah. They don't always do that in a callback oh. situation. Like, oh, you know okay. what I mean? Sometimes in auditions, they'll big up you because, you know, they try yeah. to make you feel good. That's because I always be believing that thing, they be saying and shit. <laughs> yeah. But in a callback situation, mm -hmm. they don't got, to, they, you know, usually they be like, okay, have a good day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, when she was like, boom, 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 I was like, okay, hopefully. Hopefully I'm about to get this. Yeah, yeah. But then the fourth shit. nigga was in it forever. Uh, and that could be in a good way or a bad way. So, right. so I'm just like, man, I just don't get excited for auditions. <laughs> my, my whole motto about that shit is you do it, forget about it. You know what I mean? There'd be times where I book things and I got to remember like, wait, what the hell was that? Because it's like I've trained myself hard. Because, you know, if you start wanting it, then you build expectation. You build expectation, right. you set you up for yourself up a disappointment, and you already get enough natural disappointments in this industry. Setting yourself up for one ain't one that you need to be doing. You hear me? So, right. so I'm mad that like the only reason I built any expectation in this one is because randomly, dog, and I'm gonna yeah. get, we gonna get to the movie in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But randomly, I was like on Facebook, like I did all the, I did like five auditions um two weeks ago, and I said on Facebook. I'm gonna get some good news soon. I'm calling it, manifesting. Right. Then I got the call back. Yeah. So then I was like, man, I'm gonna claim this shit. Fuck it, it's gonna be mine, manifesting. So then the call back was good. Yeah. So now I'm just hoping something like, if I get that bitch, then I'll be like, yeah. oh shit, I really manifested. <laughs> but if I yeah. don't get that bitch, uh. I'll be like, man, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Dippy dippy bitches. Don't ask is. me shit about Universe this manifest manifestation. Manifest manifest manifestation. Yeah. Fuck your fuck it all. Never fuck it all. Fuck the But uh, yeah, they got. What you about to say <laughs> about I got the cup too? You actually watched it? Yeah, I watched it, man. Oh my god. I didn't. I'm, I'll be honest. I didn't AMC it, but I watched it. I mean, you shouldn't AMC it. I still no, you should it. not. Nah, man. You definitely should not waste your AMC. I mean, the last time we spoke on this, it was on a couple episodes ago because somebody else had seen it, and we gave a review without even seeing that bitch. You yeah. finally watched it now. I watched it. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah, man. All right. So let's let's start off here. 
this movie, I feel like I said this somewhere before, but maybe not on a recording. Okay, but anyway. I, I didn't tell you about this already. About you watching I Got the Hook Up too? Yeah. Nah. Okay, cool. All right, so, all right. Last time we talked, you hadn't seen it. Okay, cool. All right, then. So, um, this movie <laughs> is, I don't know, it's shot like a like an Instagram video. Like you've said that to me before. Yeah, right. I feel like I, yeah. See, I feel like I, I feel like I told you this before. Mm. I'm not. I could be. I'm telling you, do we be high? <laughs> <laughs> like, do we be high? Somebody gonna listen to this motherfucker and be like, "Didn't these niggas already had this conversation?" <laughs> I swear, I, I, I could have sworn I had this conversation with you. You know, but no. Okay, so um, yeah, no. Okay, so it, yeah, it felt like it was shot like an Instagram video. Um, yeah, you sure we didn't talk? Because okay, so Lil Romeo not... didn't direct it. I'm not sure anymore. I, I thought we directed stuff. it. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, apparently, it's this other dude. And apparently, I don't know. I feel like he um, maybe directed some dope, like, internet video. But it's like... <laughs> no, because it's like he had no, like, real idea of composition or framing. It's like they didn't know what the fuck was going on. It's like it seems like you, you would maybe block the scene... Before you shoot it, so you don't have somebody fall out of frame and then have the cameraman pan down to see him on the ground. Oh, it's no. like no, that's two different setups. Oh, no. That's what happens. That thank you, sir. I appreciate. It. Uh, it, it, that's two different setups. That's not a what, what the fuck was that? And then it's so sloppy. Like uh, oh, shit. What's his name? Tiny uh, Lister. Lester. Yeah, what? Tiny Lister. Debo. Yeah, Debo. Debo. Like listen. Listen, no, no. listen, okay, yeah. I, I, I always get his last name wrong. But, um, I could he... be completely wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs> it could be all wrong. It, it could be, yeah. I, his name isn't even tiny. Black <laughs> Academia! Where the fuck are you? Um, but not, okay, so his character in the first I Got the Hookup, dude, that shit was. I don't know, it's like they made him menacing. There was this whole, like, theme music. I can hear this shit now. Dude, they so disrespect the character, man. I don't even know why he got out of bed. Like, some of the people who came back for this shit. Does Debo still look like, intimidating? I mean, on note to note to those niggas, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, and like, then, listen, you expected old Debo theme music when we got old Debo now. Right. So, I don't you know. It's maybe like, they were like, well. Nah, you don't get anything, man. And it's mm -hmm, just it's terrible. Yeah, he nah man, it it was just it was it was really painful to watch. And like so the movie starts off, there's so many just non sequitur scenes that are supposed to make you laugh, but it's like at the end of the day they mean absolutely fucking nothing. Like that's how the movie starts off. And then we get the credits like, oh now we're gonna see what this whole movie's about. It's like that that told us absolutely nothing about this. It was just some skit you thought was funny and it really ran on too long. And and one of the guys that we're watching is we're we're barely gonna see him again. So it's just yeah, man. And then there was um I saw some I swear I saw a cat that I went to high school with. Can't remember his name. Not impossible. Now yeah, right? It's New Orleans. Yeah. And um and he had this like scene and I was just like okay this is okay that was kind of interesting and then it, he never showed up again it meant absolutely nothing this is like this movie is sprinkled with little this little vignettes that are supposed to be funny but there's literally just two people talking to each other saying some funny shit and then that's it the the scene just ends and you go back to Master P and A J Johnson who man seems. <laughs> I don't know, man. My man. Yeah, never mind. Let's not even get into that. I'm just here so I don't get fined. I'm just, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude. I mean, yeah. Um, oh, God. It was terrible, man. Like, the the writing. Okay, so clearly they allowed them to, you know, ad lib and kind of throw a lot of shit out there. The dude who plays A.J. Johnson's son is like channeling um, old boy from fucking um, Juice. What's the big dude? I forget, damn. Dude. Oh, the one that's like, you smoke crack, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker, <laughs> Sam, Sam. Yeah, that motherfucker. He is channeling Sam's. And it's like, I wish that the script had maybe gave him more to do, something more consistent, a more consistent character. Because it's like, he actually doesn't know what the fuck he's in. He like, he's, he's like, He's treating this shit like it's real. Like, this is his big opportunity. Like, he's going for it. Yeah. And I'm like, this is just not the movie for you to do this in. I'm so, sorry. So doing Nobody thing, around though. you is doing that. But he's doing his thing, though. He's doing his thing. I would give him a... I would, I would recommend him for a job. I mean, yeah. based off of this. I mean, like, because he is literally the only person trying. 
And like not even the cameraman is trying, it seems. Like. <laughs> I feel like they set a camera up, one dude hit record, then went sat down and watched the shit in real time. <laughs> instead of like watching a monitor. Like he just watched the shit in real time. Cause I feel like we got his real time view versus a fucking just cinematic scope. It's just it was so bad, man. It like this guy, whoever he got to direct this movie, unfortunately, just wasn't ready to to take on this. Like he didn't have the eye for it just yet. Like not to say he won't later, but like this this is definitely gonna be a lesson for him. Um, but like I don't know. And then also too, I, I went back to look to see um to see if uh, they still had uh, um because like so there was some comedians who promoted this movie who were from here mm-hmm. that I never saw in the movie. Uh, apparently it was in the credits, right? Like Shadi Feel Good, I think it was in the credits or some shit. Yeah. Probably. I, I can't even really remember the credits. They did they did have a lot of shit that sort of played over the credits. That's like, okay, yeah, this is maybe some stuff that couldn't make the movie or they kind of forced into the movie more so. Um, but yeah, maybe, potentially. I'm, I'm not sure. I know there was one dude like, um, ah, shit. Rob Kazi, uh, the mm-hmm. Tommy Real nigga, right? Yeah. He, has, he still has the promotion thing on his page. So I'm like, okay, cool. So... You're like, somewhere. Like, no, no, I'm not tripping. Like, you were supposed to be in this movie and you weren't there. Okay. So let me go into the comments and see, like, am I the only, am I tripping? Because it's like 83 people said something about this uh, post. So let's see. Is somebody else feeling the same way? And you scroll down maybe once or twice. And you run into about three people who say, damn, nigga, you weren't even in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. And, uh, and you, you know, you just left it up. That's, you know, that's, you know, it's a commitment. That's, well, he, he, I, you I, know, I really, you, brother. being a real nigga. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's, nigga, that's who he is. Yeah. He's like, well, you know, I worked on it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna it. act like I didn't show up. But it's like, <laughs> you hey, know what I'm saying? Hey, if, after but hearing look, so much bad things about this film, dog, I wouldn't be still uh, okay. I'll, ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> but and, um, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, it's um, it was a travesty. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, Master P was like, we watched him say, "This ain't a hood movie." When when we sat here with Alpha Joe and he pulled up that that thing, right? Yeah. We did see him say, "This is not a hood movie," right? Yeah. So I saw him somewhere later on after the movie came out saying, "This a hood movie," <laughs> and that's just what the fuck it is. And he's super super proud of it, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's his shit. He, he him apparently put like a lot into this. It seems like they had 18 fucking writers. You want to know why they had 18 writers? Because nobody had a fucking script. They just ran. They just let the camera roll and let these niggas improv. Like, I'm telling you, that's why every motherfucker has a writing credit in this goddamn movie. But, um, yeah, the writing credits just went on for too long. Um, and then they all had their own individual written by Kennedy, Kennedy, whatever, written by so-and-so, so-and-so. Oh, so-and-so. God. Like, nigga, why? like, just put all their names Why are you padding once. your credits? Jesus Christ, right? Okay, but, yeah, um... Not uh, not a pleasurable experience. Uh, I don't recommend it, and I don't. I, I I don't. Yeah, I don't really see the reason for this. Um, but yeah, you know, apparently there's more to come. So um, yeah, uh, allegedly there's more to come. Alleg- <laughs> Let's put it right there. Allegedly yeah, there's more like, to come. That shit is still in the theaters, nigga. Uh, what theater? I thought it was still in the AMC last time I checked. Really? Yeah. Damn, we got me got some movie. Mm, but anyway, all right? you hear me? All right? Shit. I mean, like that's where the money went, my nigga. Bro. To make sure it stayed there. Did like, you, this shit went to the movies. Did you watch Hush? I sent you Hush. Ah, oh, shit. No, I did not. Not yet. All right. So next time we talk, we got to talk Hush. Yeah. Hush was Hush was pretty good. We talking about Batman Hush. I just dropped animated DC, y'all. We got Crisis on Infinite Earths, man. Do we? Dude. <clears throat> that whole CW crossover is looking goddamn ridiculous, dog. Like the the, the news coming out of that is like is, is just blowing my mind. Uh, welcome to reviewing that show, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. We already on one. We already recorded a Your Thirty podcast crossover that y'all could catch on the Your Thirty feed. Yeah. And now we about to talk um some a little bit of the boys, a little bit of Hobbs and Shaw, and a little bit of this crisis. On Infinite Earths, man. If you ain't already watching the CW shows, if you're a comic book head, you need to be watching this here. Um, again, uh, this is that actor guy, Mr. Bats in the building. To my right. It's your favorite host, Marty here. M-A-R-T-Y, Edwards504 on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap at the chat. Also, go to LorainePictures.com. Click on the O30 tab where it goes to show that with... What is his name? Black Actopedia. You heard the man. You heard the man. 
it's Black Agdopedia coming, also known as the Arrogant Observer. You're 30 with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. Check us out. Dog, um, we just had a great Acting While Black episode with uh, my dude, Nicoy Banks. Yeah. Oh, my God, dog. It felt like church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were just okay. writing it, and it gave me shit for, because I hadn't read the uh, Color Museum yet. <laughs> it, was just, okay. it was just a fun episode, man. man. Now, and since then, I have read some of the Color Museum. Okay. But um, yeah, the cast- I, I don't remember that when I read it a while. I I, I couldn't tell you though. You know, oh man, it, me. it's a freaking amazing. You know, it's the joint where you know there's all these exhibits. Um, I read Symbiosis, which is um, this guy is he's, he's basically killing off his blackness, and his blackness is in the form of um a boy, and the mm-hmm. boy's all street and hood. And, you know, he got slang and stuff. But the guy, he's like, you know, what I mean, he's like, I got to throw away this record and that record. He's naming all these classic black records and these classic black books and this classic black art. And he's talking about all these things he have to give away so he can, you know, he got to kill off in order to, like, you know, basically assimilate and be successful. And it's interesting looking at the end. He like chokes the, he chokes his chokes his blackness out, chokes the mm-hmm. boy out, and he throws all the shit in the trash. He throws the boy body in the trash, and as he tries to walk off, the boy grab him by the arm, and it's over. And it's like, whoa, shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And they got all these freaking like stories about different things like like that it's like it's it was ahead of his time as fuck and it's still so relevant that make you go like yo yes they should clown me for being a black actor and not having <laughs> having read the damn color museum <laughs> but um the cw's crisis on infinite earths man for people that don't know that's when um they always this crisis that happens in the dc universe at times where they you know some shit go down and all the universes got to come together so mm-hmm. now i guess they're going to bring all the universes together because um, there's going to be Arrow's last season. They already said Crisis on Infinite Earth is about to happen. Arrow made this whole deal with the Anti-Monitor who's like this godly ass figure that, you know, basically he got to die in place of the Flash and Supergirl dying. And there's going to be this huge event that's going to have all these multiverses coming together. So there's crazy castings that's going out there. We might have we're gonna have Kevin Conroy play an old Bruce Wayne. Now everyone knows Kevin Conroy is the voice, the classic voice of Batman in all animated forms and video game forms. I mean, he's the Batman you probably hear in your head when you read a Batman comic book. His voice is iconic, but the man looks nothing like Batman. But if we're going with um, old, like they say, he's gonna be like an old Bruce Wayne, and like there's this comic book called Kingdom Come, where like Bruce Wayne is like, you know, he's been through so much shit that like he, he his body's in like these braces, these metal braces and shit, and mm-hmm. even Superman, he's older and he got gray hair, and it's like this weird like world, and it's interesting. It's the episode, and it's the comic <laughs> book where Shazam, I think, whooped Superman ass if I remember right. <laughs> but anyway, um, they that's why Brandon Routh, who played Superman in Superman Returns, and is currently the Adam in that universe in this whole other universe he's going to be able to regain and be Superman again and I'm guessing that if they go Kingdom Come route that's the one that Kevin Conroy is going to be old Bruce Wayne because the only way he's going to be able to be a Bruce Wayne is if he old but it's going to be still cool as fuck to hear his voice you know what I mean Um, yeah is that Kevin is that him that is him nigga I mean (laughs) yes (laughs) yes Um, yes that yeah you got to be old you gotta be the I mean, decrepit. Uh, hopefully, oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> They're bringing back Burt Ward, the old school Robin from freaking Adam West days, what dog. What the fuck is he gonna do, dude? Who knows, man? John Cryer as Lex Luthor. What the? F- what world was that on? Actually, he's the Lex Luthor in the current Supergirl universe. They just brought him on this past season. You didn't know? No, John, John Cryer, man. He's Lex Luthor. Oh currently. no, they on their way out. It I don't was, know. We just shall like see. The last stitch he's ever. been getting. He's been getting props as his role. I've been watching Has Supergirl. He really? oh, he's been God, actually he getting props. Um, they sit there and talks with Tom Welling, of course, who played uh, you know, Clark Kent in the Smallville universe. Then talks with Michael Rosenbaum. They want him to come back for Lex Luthor. They try to have all these people that they trying to bring in from all these other universes. They might have Mark Hamill will actually be Joker, like the actual Joker who he's voiced. I think so. Oh, and yeah, I've already announced Black Lightning is finally going to be crossing over in this whole situation, too. So, yeah, it's like, we might as well, man. I mean, where, where's it going to hurt? They throwing all their motherfucking eggs against the wall, and I'm so excited for, as a comic book fan, how all this shit going to shake out. Yeah, I mean, this is a, that's a, that's a ton. A ton, son. A whole ton, son. They say they might have, they're going to feature two Batman. So, that means... 
I don't know who gonna be what or how they gonna play it, but they already announced they're gonna have Batman in this bitch. They're gonna have John Diggle, who already has been outed on hours, being his stepdad's last name is Stewart, is Colonel Stewart. So technically he is John Stewart, and they're gonna have a universe where he is the Green Lantern, and that's gonna happen. I mean, dude, if if, 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 there, if there was a time to be into the CWDC universe, this is the time. This upcoming season, watch all this shit. Marty don't want to see Batwoman, but it's I fine. Don't. But don't. everything else looks like it's going to shape into something that's going to be real magnificent, in my humble opinion. You did. So. Um. Yeah. So I. I'll. Here's what I'll say. She's awful, and I think the show will be worse. Um. There's nothing that I've. I've seen one trailer. And um, I was not impressed. I, I saw exactly what I thought the, the show may, you know, uh, grow into. And, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, awful. Absolutely. Now, when this awful. show winds up being decent, I'm going to freaking laugh. I mean, I don't Yo, know what it's going to be. Yo, dude, I'll do. I'll, man, this show is decent, man. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> what are we going to do? I, I don't know what to call it yet. I don't know what to call it yet. No, no, I can't claim it. I can't claim it yet. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He doesn't want to say it's I garbage. I don't think it's going to be garbage. But I really don't think it's going to be garbage. He's holding his nose. <laughs> like one or the other. I mean, Something's happening there, man. Now, Come speaking on, of man. something that can go either way, man, you let's look at this. Smell like crawfish, man. Man, let's look at this Titans, man. Titans just dropped the season two um, trailer. Let's give this motherfucker a look. See, so you made the news with your old Titans friends. It's new ones, too. Titans are back, bitches! <laughs> there are no sidekicks in Titans. We're partners. We have each other's back. This is the new Titans. Crypto. So what are we? Titans 2.0? Titans the next generation. No way. What? Deathstroke. Good old Titan season two teaser. How you felt about it? Uh, not very excited. Yep, you just um, gave it the worst side. Yeah, I'm not, like I feel like DC Universe as a as a streaming service is, is just on its last leg. I'm maybe, maybe about to flutter out for good. But um yeah, this trailer itself, man, just does not it, excite me. Um yeah. I'm not into blonde Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I'm not into British. Did, did, did he did not cover his accent at all, right? It I didn't hear much of a cover, no. I mean, I feel like he's going for something, but it's not very masked, no. No, um, I just hit a Game no. of Thrones nigga, and that's all I see is a Game of Thrones nigga. And I don't know why they chose him to be goddamn... I don't know what you saw in Jorah the Cuck that made you feel like he needed to be Bruce Wayne, but I wish y'all wouldn't have saw it. I wish y'all could unsee all of that. Wow. Stevie Wonder, that shit. Um... I'm curious. Well, they got Aqualad in this thing. Uh, they got Superboy and Crypto. I'm curious about Superboy. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see him finally become Nightwing, I guess. I don't know, dog. Like, I'm going to watch it, but mm -hmm. I'd just rather be watching Young Justice. Yeah. And I mean, word. Second pass. And the CW universe is going to be kicking some ass this year. So it's like Titans, bro. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know, man. Yeah. We'll I, see. Y'all didn't excite me really at all. We'll uh, see, guys. About this, yeah. It's like, yeah, look at Raven. How you got a little thing on her head now. Oh, that's... Do, that's, do, do, um, do, 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 do. Yeah. She has the down on her head. Ooh, look we got here. It is a little death strap. Oh. oh, my God. We already <laughs> seen Deathstroke done better. Yeah. You're going to have to nice. do a lot to top Deathstroke season two and arrow. Sorry. But, um... Let's get into some comic book shit we do like, and that's The Boys. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk. We can finally speak freely. It's just us boys in the room since Jay mm -hmm. Still has started Dear White People without us. 
mm-hmm. but it's not started the boys so we'll have her back when we do doing deal with white people but for right now man we watched all eight episodes if you if this is your first time listening to reviewing that show understand we're spoiler cast we about to spoil 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 so if you haven't watched the boys we're gonna talk Hobbs and Shaw right after if you haven't watched Hobbs and Shaw prepare to just get it all ruined 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 yeah. for you um yeah. The Boys, season one, eight episodes. Your first impression. We already spoke about first impression. Now that you yeah. ended it, how do you uh-huh. feel? Oh, um, I'm absolutely um, in love with this show, man. Uh, this, uh, So this show kind of gave me something different. I, I, to be honest, I didn't really... I, I didn't really know what was possible for this. Right. Like I didn't. I didn't know that a show like could could sort of could could do this. Like we kind of talked about it a little bit uh, before um, about how it's not just that these superheroes are superheroes, but that they have these human flaws they about them. Flawed. You know that. Uh, except for the one them, psychopath. I'm a stand by. Yeah, right. We have except one psychopath, psychopath, and the rest but of them are just flawed human he, beings. He is an exception to the experiment because, like. <laughs> In comic book lore, he's an alien, but in this lore, he's actually just a, 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 a human who was granted, like, Superman-like powers, you know, but it's like, he's still one of us, he's just, you know, who one of... Who knows what he is at yeah, this point. I mean, yeah, right, yeah, at, at, at this point. But, so, um, our entry yeah. point into this show is, man, uh, Dennis Quaid's son, and Meg, Dennis Quaid and Didn't Meg Ryan's son. Didn't realize that until yeah. after the yeah. complete end of this thing man he plays like, wow. he plays Huey right. Huey and the way this, this this show grabs you instantly dog because you know it begins when you it see it commands the... your attention I, I told the story where I, I was looking down at my phone in the first like maybe 10 or 15 minutes you know when that big yeah. thing happens and I, I just look up and see a whole big huge puddle of blood blood and I'm like I have to I have to Dude. go back now and watch what happened Damn. I have to you know I have to see Cause, it cause it started off with the superhero shit and it's all yeah. fine and dandy and they make it seem like Homelander and uh, Lady Maeve that they are these great superheroes, etc., etc. They're kind of violent, yeah. but they basically seem super and shit. But you already know it's gonna go a little left. But I'm um, like, yeah, you got you, 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 you in Huey's world. Huey walking with his girlfriend. He just having like nice girl and friend and boyfriend banter. And the next thing mm-hmm. you know, he giving his girlfriend a kiss. He stepped off the curve. And the next thing you know, in that quick second that you could look down at your phone, she's turned into a puddle of blood and guts and freaking bones because uh, A Train, played by Derek T. Richardson, that's his name. Um, uh, Jesse T. Jesse T. Usher? Usher? Okay, think, whatever his name is. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> who did really good in his role as A-Train. I like him as A-Train. I, I, yeah. He got I, under I my skin in all the right ways. I don't like him regularly, and I felt like that helped. That his character. Added to this. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. that Whatever that really that's helped. annoying about him naturally worked, worked with this for A-Train this. character, son. Mm-hmm. He ran Made through this sickle. woman and turned her into a puddle of blood. And... That was the first it. cook that you could have for this show to be like, wait, this isn't like, your normal like, superhero show that we're watching. And then instead of him, like, he's your hero, but instead of him stopping to sort of, like, I don't know, uh, try to assess and rectify the situation, you know, as best as possible in the moment. Talk about A-Train. Yeah, A-Train, he's like, I can't stop, I can't stop, and just fucking keeps going. Keeps going, did not give you a know? fuck, they just ran yeah. through this woman. And it's like, that's... Huey is left holding his girlfriend's arms. Yeah, with blood coming from them, with blood all over him. It was the most. It is the most like. I didn't know ja- daunting thing you see as this as this show starts. Did, and it, you, did you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's about to do. I was gonna ask. Did you know anything about the comic books? Like, did you know where, how this was gonna sort of shape out? Or anything like? Did you I started. I knowledge? read the first four comic books after re- watching the first few episodes of this, so I had no clue what was coming. Okay. Okay. Like I I, 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 I started either. reading some of the comics now, but no. I mean, like after I watched a few, but no, 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 no. Didn't see it coming. It I, tripped me the hell out. Yeah. I I'm did. so glad I didn't read the comics books for this me too i didn't so i didn't know what they were um i didn't know what they were gonna do um with this so in the beginning i'm like i don't know if i'm supposed to go with huey or not but i'm definitely on huey's side fuck a train yes like let's let's get but for a second like since i don't read the comics and the thing is we did watch the trailer for a bit but the trailer like did a good job of hiding what it really was in a, to a degree. Yeah, it, it wasn't. Um, it didn't really get. We me knew a good it was idea. about these people coming at the superheroes. Yeah, right. But that's all we knew. But uh, but this is really like them creating the the boys. Because even when you read the first uh, comic of the boys, um, that's about them getting back together. But they were already a team. Um, 
like everyone besides Huey. Huey was a new person because okay. your boy felt bad for him because you know how you find out that Butcher lose his wife because you know Homeland did some ill shit, mm-hmm. allegedly. Because even in, right. in the show they went a little other ways with the shit. But um, so he fell he fell for Huey. So Huey's a new nigga. But uh, mother uh, mother's milk, Frenchie, females with the Asian chick called in the comics, and uh, and uh, Mallory who's a dude and uh, Butch. They were all a team already doing their thing. If anything, they're, they're like Ocean's Eleven coming back together at the top of the comic book. But on mm-hmm. uh, here, it just seemed like, uh, you know, the Asian chick, she's new and Huey's new. And um, yeah, dude, Carl Urban kills this role as Butch. Oh, yeah. I was I was thinking that earlier. Like, he kind of just loses himself in this. It's like, it makes you me want more of him. Like, can we get him doing some other shit now, too? Cause like he, he grimed me, but he still got. Yeah. It's just the way he works. It works. It, it yeah right yeah exactly. Like his um that those final um shots that they have of him in that in the finale uh where he's just he's not really saying anything. He's just sort of standing there smoldering. Yeah. And they got like the light covering like half of his face and shit. And it's this blue t- uh, tint to it. And it just I don't know man. It just like it works. It's like the whole thing. I'm like this whole. Like setup is working. We built up to this one exact moment that it that is playing out perfectly. Yes. And um, yeah, you just kind of wonder where it's gonna go. But it's like, yeah, he's he's um, he's an anchor for this entire thing. Like you know, you gotta kind of want to go with him too as well. Because you gotta watch. Because because you're watching Huey and um, the other other main character in this is old girl, um, Starlight. Yeah. Amy. Annie. Mm-hmm. Annie. Annie. Yeah. Um, from Jessica Jones season one. Shouts out. You know, uh, she was, her name was Ironic. Her name. It was Hope. Hope. It was Ironic. It was Ironic yeah. name. Hope was her name. But um, yeah, great, great casting for her. And again, um, when you first get introduced to her character, things just go left, man. She um, She's this perfect, amazing, altruistic superhero. She's powerful. She uh, she wants to sign up to be... It's almost like watching Captain Extra Extra. Like, she trying to enjoy yeah, the superhero man. league and shit. And, um, <laughs> uh. and um, like, yeah, and they choose her. They choose her to join the league and it's all amazing and it's all beautiful. And um, she gets... Um, she goes into the room that... You know, the big meeting room and she runs into this guy, The Deep. And The Deep is... And the thing is, I knew The Deep was going to be a dick. Like, even when I saw him presented as, like, when we first see him, he's doing a speech for the company. Because I don't know if we... Ex- we did explain out here about what the boys is about. It's, you know, mm-hmm. they they made the superhero business a business. There's this one company called Bought that um, they have, like, over 200 superheroes that they supply America with or the yeah. world with. And, they you know, they, they save the world or whatnot. And, um, like, yeah, all the superheroes are coming through this business. And they claim that um, these are people that are born this way. And you find out over the course of the series that, no, there's this thing called... Uh, uh, what's it called? V something V. Uh, compound V. Compound V that gives in and dates them with their powers, and it can be very addictive and dangerous for them as well. As we find out with A Train storyline, he becomes addicted to it, and um, yeah, and it's gonna kill you. And it can kill you, yeah. And it's it's very interesting how they go about this, um, letting that mystery play out. What is Compound V? How does it play? Because these people really think that they're God's gift. Um, and um, one thing, old girl Starlight, when the, when the show starts, like again, for Hugh, for the Huey character, the big shock is, oh my God, his girlfriend gets turned to a puddle of blood. When you go in yeah. with Annie's character, um, her big shock is she gets in there, she's with the deep, she you know having a nice little conversation with the, the, their Aquaman trope, um, the Aquaman analog. And funny enough, that character exists in the comics, but it's not that important. Um, but um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, they could have they could have used someone else. But uh, they went with him. I guess they had to have the Aquaman shit to make it clearer. I understand why they did it now that I think of it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, he pulls his dick out right there yeah. and coerces her into sucking his dick or else he'll get her kicked out because he claims he's like number the number two. two. And yeah. um, it's such a horrible fucking thing. And it's such a horrible scene. But it plays worse in the comics. Yeah, I hear that uh, she's asked to do more than just uh, the deep. In the comics, it's Homelander. It's Homelander who does it? Who does it. He pulls uh, his dick out and says, suck. And that makes even more sense. Oh, I'm not like, going to let you on the team. I mean, yeah, he is the number one. Does, right. You know what I'm saying? And um, then when she's trying to escape, it's uh, uh, the Black Noir mm-hmm. and this other character. I forget who the other one was. That she thinks she can be like, save me. And they pull their dicks out too. And they yeah. all corner her and they're like, you don't suck our dicks, et cetera, et cetera. And it's fucked up. And that goes down. 
Mm. I'm glad they toned that down because that's just a bit too much. I'm glad they went yeah. the way that they went because even even the um even the arc that the deep went on after that um was worth it and how they played that out. Yeah, I thought so too. Like the the ongoing theme of him like trying to save animals but just constantly bringing them to their death. Like I mean, this, after he made her do that, nothing good happened for him. Yeah, nothing. Then that whole um, sort of he got raped. rape scene, yeah, that he got raped to him, yeah. Like they they didn't play that like because I don't know if in the comics that those people get their come come up from her, but mm. he got his come up and for sexually. Even she put him out there and they threw him under the bus. Like oh, she yeah. like remember at one point Starlight says like yeah man because I love her character development of. She is seeing the superhero shit for what it is, which is absolute shit. Yeah. And over the course of time, she's the realest one of them all. Even to a point where she got this big speech at the church spot. And she's like, man, fuck all this shit. I don't know what to believe no more. Y'all people crazy. Got me reading from teleprompters. These people ain't real. Nigga put his dick in my face. Like, she went in. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like, you are the true hero of this story. Because I go front. Huey did become a hero. But on his... On his anti-hero but on his journey mm. his journey felt like the villain set up a good bit of time yeah that's what i was that's yeah that's what i was saying in the beginning i didn't i'm like i don't know if i'm supposed to support you or not because maybe he may turn dark or maybe he may walter white us i don't know or heisenbergers but um you know for now man i'm with him yeah like i, I kind of thought that that was a potential you know at a certain yeah point. but he, the thing about him he just had to grow up that was his story right. he had to get his balls because even his dad didn't believe in him his dad called yeah. him a bitch at one point not the yeah, words. Not so many words. But he yeah, said, say, yeah, not he so called many it, words. You know, his dad called himself a bitch too. He said, you don't have any fight in you, Huey. And neither do yeah, I. Neither you do never I. did. You never did. And neither do I. It's like, you're a little, you're a little, you're a little bitch just like me. Okay? Just like me. So Listen, just sit on this couch. It. Look, little bitch recognize little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Or fun fact, I found out why Simon Pegg is even in this movie. Because they, uh, they did the artwork. Uh, they designed the character Huey, Huey. Huey after him in the comic. Right. Yeah, but he aged that. out. So yeah. they couldn't use him. Because it's such a random thing to not only cast Simon Pegg here, but then have him put on an American accent. You might as well just cast an American dad. But it's yeah. there for the reason of the fun fact of the Huey from the comics was a you know riff off of him. Right. And I yeah, I like to see Simon Pegg. Like I like Simon Pegg and I thought that yeah, until finding that out it was sort of uh, random. interesting. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. It could be definitely looked at as random. But I thought it was an interesting choice. Um I always like to see him, so I just figured that they somebody liked to work with him, so they just maybe shoehorned him in because he was available. Um, but to kind of figure out that there was that, that much deeper layer there, yeah. um, kind of, you know, helped. I mean, like, here's the thing. I want, I've only watched, I've only watched through the season once, um, but I'm primed up for, uh, for a second viewing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, it was, it was that good. It was that fun that like, like they didn't drag at all. And even at the end, like, I think that, that to a certain extent, we get one or two maybe uh, mini episodes in any given uh, like TV show or series. Like sometimes there are your fillers, and they didn't uh, have time to have a filler. They did. That's what. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm saying. They didn't have time. They had eight episodes. Eight. And but by the, the 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 difference between them and their eight is by the time they got to their eight, I was looking for one more. more. Me too. Me I was too. looking at least for two more. And, I didn't realize and that's I was, how they I was watching you. the end. Yeah. And that's and I mean that's a great way to and leave. It was a strong you're right. ending. You're right. That cliffhanger had you fucked up. Oh but yeah. We're gonna get back to the cliffhanger. Um I enjoyed the romance between Huey and um and Annie Starlight. It was it was yeah. it was it was cute. It was nice. I, I liked how they had great chemistry and, mm -hmm. and, and and yeah, and just sort of the evolution of him turning into this spy too was a He was had to get his balls. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had to see him get his uh, his sea legs, uh, uh, you know, on this uh, on this mission, and uh, and that's not the only time he was sort of called to uh, to to do something like that. I mean, like uh, there was there's a time when he has to go and uh, meet A Train and sort of uh, leave that bug, and and but he has to sort of play as though everything's okay, and we have that moment where he looks like he's about to break. It looks like he's about to tell A Train, "You motherfucker." And then um, he just kind of uh, um, internalizes it all, you know, and um, and I don't know. Like I, I, I like that evolution of, of him, you know, sort of becoming uh, this reliable spy. And uh, and even though he comes through at the end too, when he I saves, mean, he came uh, through, through he came through throughout at times. Right. Remember, he knew how to hack into uh, Pop Claw's um, servers so they can spy on a trans girlfriend, Pop Claw, and. Right. 
Um, he, there's these certain that moments. That was interesting too. That these certain moments point. where Huey just really showed the proof. Because the thing is, when they had, because when it, it all started off, they they kidnapped translucent, the invisible guy. And you know, I mean, Huey ain't about killing him, but Butch is like, we gotta kill him because Butch fine. How does Butch even come across this guy? Um, uh, how does Butch come across um, Huey or uh, Huey? Um, um, wow, you know what? I don't remember how because I just feel like he just popped Huey. the fuck up. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't. He just sit that. next to him on a bench or something. He had a couple of those bench scenes. I'm like, you don't notice each other. Y'all pretty close on this bench, guys. Like when him and Andy yeah. would sit next to each other, and they revealed that she was on the phone. Yeah, the, then the, he's next. to him. I'm like, he, uh, he, do you know this woman? Why are you sitting yeah. so close to her? You got like a little personal space thing. I feel like it was some shit like that happened with Butch. Um, but uh, yeah, we find out about Butch's character that his wife apparently was um raped by Homelander, from what he knows. Yeah. And um, this, he disappeared shortly after, mm-hmm. and he's been blaming Homelander and all the superheroes. I mean, all of them. He's like borderline racist to the superheroes ever since then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a, yeah. Okay, that's what look at. Yeah, fair enough. Um, My dude then, said, "You better not be like that. It's just impossible for this woman to have a heart if she got superpowers." It's like, damn, son, like, impossible. Wow. Impossible, man. That's how we doing it now. Okay, well, if you say so, brother. If you, if you say so. So that's what they said. That's what Hitler said. But the way, cool. but the way his storyline plays out, what you know, him and Homelander is very interesting, dog, and it puts a lot of things into. Because like, then you find out that Homelander, like, you find out that she apparently got pregnant. Yeah. And that Homelander didn't even know well, he got her pregnant. Yeah. And I mean, and then there's yeah, so there's there's all sorts <laughs> of layers in there too, because. You don't really know who to believe in terms of this narrative. That uh, whole rape situation comes into question hard up. Yeah, I'm like, there's no well, proof that Homeland the rape there, and he don't never say he did so. Right, and, and he's and, an evil he motherfucker. Yeah, and he tells a different story. So I mean, like if his if he had raped her in that moment, I think he would have told. He would have twisted that, twist that he knife. He wouldn't have like he wouldn't have made it seem like oh hey uh, she just came on to. I don't know. I feel like he would have told that he he fucking raped. Only her. we saw we Look, saw her leave the room disheveled. Disheveled. Yeah, we did see that. But it's not like she left the room like horrified. Right. Like oh no. Like she was kind of like like. It seemed like your wife just cheated on caught. you, homie. Yeah. <laughs> that's guy. Yeah. That's exactly and that thing, sucks like. even worse. Right. And yeah, that's, that's some real shit. Right. Maybe like not. she 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 didn't get raped, nigga. She cheated on you. You had to tell yourself she was raped in order to probably keep your damn sanity. Yeah. Cause that's heavy for you to have to take in that this asshole, arrogant, prick, psycho, superhero nigga. Cause that's one of the biggest reveals about this show that we didn't get to speak on last time, ladies and gentlemen. Is finding out that once again, all the characters, all the superheroes are flawed. But the main superhero beacon of hope, American flag on his back, is the psychopath that America is. It's genius. It's ridiculous. He's <laughs> homicidal. He's nuts. He's selfish. There's so much. Uh, the character the actor plays Homelander so perfectly. Okay, bro. He finds the pocket so well. I've said this and I haven't heard nobody else say it yet, so I've been saving it for us. Is my man Homelander giving you a poor man's Bradley Cooper? I don't get Bradley Cooper, dude. You don't see Bradley Cooper. Now that you dude? say it, I can see why you're saying it. But it's like a poor man, like he just has the look. Not like he's sort of personifying <clears throat> him, but that he has that face. Like they look like they could be brothers. If somebody said this is Bradley Cooper's brother, I'd be like, oh, I see it. You know, he's in but the pocket of like. like the way he plays this big child, man, child. Um, He's kind of Trumpian. There's so much going on. They got this one scene where he uh, has pull, he pulls Frenchie over because you know he's looking for translucent, the invisible motherfucker that they got kidnapped right. before they murder him. Before Huey blows him up, which is pretty freaking cool. Well, actually, yeah, no, he's actually outside of the place where they're holding him. Yeah, like Frenchie's trying, like hasn't even pulled out of the driveway yet. But the way it feels is it's like a police officer pulling you over. Oh yeah, most that definitely. That whole vibe, like he kept feeling like white male authority. He oh, felt yeah. like. Yeah, white yeah, okay, male power it. personified. He felt like America. He felt like Trump. He felt like the Republicans. Because the because the character kept growing more and more to feel that way. It didn't start like that, but suddenly right. they kept on peeling more layers and more layers back. That oh, this this is a blonde hair, blue eyed, nuts so right wing white boy, and he represented those cops that will beat the shit out for that will kill Valando. He represented those people that's going like he. They're so this was. Expertly time and him having an American flag as his cape and being this actual villain of the story in many ways is goddamn amazing to say this comic book is like mm. more like a decade or so old. 
Oh, is it a decade old? If that, if that, I don't even know when the comic dropped. But I just feel like okay. No, no, I feel like it's a '90s comic. It's a '90s comic because they make Monica Lewinsky references. So that shit is two decades old. You heard me? Mm. Monica so, Lewinsky references in the actual okay. Yeah. So what you said? You read the first four issues? Yeah, first four or five. I wanted to see how much like was similar. You know what I mean? That, mm. I often do that. I mean, let me be. Let me uh look this up right quick. The boy's comic. Let me make sure I'm not saying wrong information. I feel like it's '90s if. Like a 90s comic. Uh, so, I also want to give a shout out to Mother's Milk. I, I, I did. I dug Lons that actor. Al- yeah. Uh, Lons, Lons Alonzo. I yeah. think is his name. But I, yeah, I always liked that cat, dude. But like, What do really else do I know him from? Because he was really, he was really like, like a, really the whole squad. Because Frenchie was great, too. Frenchie was great, Well, too, I dug but, the I black know, man. Yeah. Um, he was in, um, I don't know, he was in a couple black movies I remember seeing. He was in this show. Uh, okay, okay, so it came out in 06, apparently, the first six issues. Oh, okay. All right, all right. 06. And they're making Monica Lewinsky. They made a, yeah, they made a Monica okay. Lewinsky joke. So I was like, it's got to be Clinton era, but no, it's 06. Okay. But continue. Uh yeah, what was I saying about Laz and Lonzo? Yeah, yeah, he was giving him his props. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought he was, uh, he was dope. I thought he was real solid in this Um. Uh, he's always good and you know whenever I see him I, I just um, like particularly liked him in this and it's like oh this is really good for him to have a hit you know what I'm saying um, like I think he was actually the bad guy in one of the Fast and the Furious movies too it was like um, the one where Letty dies actually he kills Letty in one of the movies or thinks he kills I don't know I don't know the spoiler uh, <laughs> but um, yeah he's um, but yeah he's been around for a while always dig him he always plays like either uh, Hispanic or, or uh, black <laughs> but um yeah he's he's um he was real good in this um who else Frenchie was really dope um the chick uh who Kimiko I love the I Kimiko. liked her too of course they can't call it a female in 2019 but Kimiko Word. her name is the female in the comments it's ridiculous but Word. Kimiko I dug Kimiko's character arc I dug the actress how she played it she was yeah. one of the what you call it the what she was in one of the DC joints as the uh, Asian chick with the sword Suicide Squad uh huh that's Kimiko? She was um that actor. I, I oh. she played the one she played the Suicide Squad movie, I believe. Oh, okay. I forget the I forget the character's name, but yeah. So get your money, girl. Word. Oh yeah, I was trying to place who she was. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I didn't uh, I didn't look her up, but and it was interesting yeah. how they played that thing out with her and Frenchie. And like I loved that scene, those scenes where she was turning back into a woman and trying to find herself and she combed <laughs> her hair and it's like yeah. she, it was all played with no um with no words. It's like that's what takes that's what takes women so long in the in the bathroom. Yeah. Like this, They're figuring it out. Yeah, they don't know exactly what it's gonna look like, you know, so <laughs> sometimes it doesn't always look like this. You gotta make adjustments. It takes a little longer. That's what's that's what's going on in there. It's, it's work. <laughs> but um yeah, that um that was what I'm trying to think of what I haven't watched like. anything that this guy I saw Avatar, but I don't remember last from that. But yeah, he well, yeah, it's kind of hard. It's 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 like remembering a uh, fucking uh, Zoe Saldana from Avatar. <laughs> I remember Zoe from Avatar. Oh, you do remember? Yeah. Well, she's well, he's the dude that she's uh, patrolled to. He's in Constantine as well. Before a boy shows up. Yeah, I guess. You remember? Though. You remember? He's mother's milk for me. That's ah, just who he's gonna ah, fucking be. I know. And I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That no, that whole storyline right. was interesting. Um, yeah. let me see, um, who else story I want, I want to talk about, uh, Queen Maven, that whole deal that happened on the plane, that plane scene was intense. You oh, all yeah. back the fuck up before I laser every fucking one of you. Yeah. So this big scene where, um, like they were sent the freaking, um, Queen Maeve, who's their Wonder Woman, and of course the psychopath himself, Homelander, um, they, uh, had to, uh, save this plane that was crashing and, um, Homelander, like, this recklessness. Yeah, he's the reason it started crashing because at first it was just a freaking hijacking by like some terrorists and he decided to like laser one to death instead of just stopping him and that laser killed the engine and then the plane the plane started crashing this is ridiculous and he decided well, we're gonna have to leave him on here because there's no way we can save him and yeah. every superman trope that queen maven can throw at him as a means to save the plane he shoots down expertly and made me laugh 
He's like, yeah, like man, nah, dude, I couldn't do that. I'd, I had to put, punch a hole right through the plane if I under, if I overshot it. You're right. Uh, what you want us to do? You want us to carry every one hundred and twenty three people off like, and back and forth? Nah. We don't have time for that. Nah. Uh, what? I, there's nothing for me to step on for me to hold it up. Like, what am I supposed to do? There's air out here. We're flying. I don't know what you expect me to do. Just save a few. What you mean? Then they gonna talk about how we let the other ones die? <laughs> like what? this dude was just not about being a hero don't whatsoever. Don't die with these people. I'm like, what? Yes, yeah, she time. was like, "Man, let me just save the little girl." He's like, "No," and they let all those people die, even the little girl. <laughs> then he flipped it into a political move because the whole deal is Vought, the chick who run Vought, who's ex- who's he, he was obsessed with in the motherly slash um, I love you role. Because like he he has an Oedip- he has the Oedipus complex because he didn't have no mother love, no mother's touch. He was raised by two male scientists, but he also mm-hmm. is like into her and shit. It's so weird. I really dig her character, by the way, the uh, chick who's the vice president of Vault. Yeah, Elizabeth Chu. Yeah, I love how she played that whole situation, yeah. but it still was weird. But it was very strange, dude. No matter how you slice it, uh, like that whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of struggled with that. Was just the, the most of their interactions were awkward. Uh, to me, but their uh, whole deal is they yeah. try to get superheroes in the military, and people yeah. are like no, that's too dangerous. And he's on his and uh, you know, Homelander is trying to not only impress his mother wife, but he's in many ways is the same story arc as Huey, just on a grander scale. He's finding his way because even though he's the most powerful motherfucker, he you know he's been a Boy Scout, a soldier. He's psycho, but he stays in a certain era. But you see him starting to be like, no, I'm going to start running the show. I have the power now. I have ideas. Watch me go. Yeah. And that's scary as hell to watch this evil psycho Superman start getting his sea legs in the ways that we shouldn't even be going. Yeah, I mean, uh, just the fact that you gotta, like, they never really lose sight of the fact that he can just light his eyes up and burn straight through you in just a matter of seconds, just cut through you like butter. But it's but the 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 other thing is is that um oh, fuck and he has a super strength as well yeah, and he can fly strength, yeah. he has everything dog like the funniest yeah. part about the last scene of this series of the season is the fact that he decided to save Butch he could have let Butch he die let Butch die and the thing is I thought he was gonna like do what he did to to the director to the baby because I was like the real, he kept the real tripping thing. about that baby yeah dude I'm like he was jealous of that fucking baby bro who's talking about the uh, uh, Elizabeth uh, Shoes Home- baby yeah Homelander um, you know with their sort of mother son fetish relationship you know there was always something kind of weird there he put she know? put her fingers in his mouth and he sucked it like a fucking thimble thing not oh, thimble uh, uh, nook like a yeah like a nook yeah, yeah, there's yeah. some shit going on man but um he murdered her anyway. Spoiler alert. Ha ha. But you saw it going away. It had no, uh, nowhere else to go but him yeah. murdering her. And it was pretty interesting after everything that went down when Butch had him and it, they had this you know, big standoff and Butch had her you know, uh, attached to freaking um, C4 and shit. And he's like, it was expertly played. He's like, so uh, your, your play is to hurt the person I love because you think I hurt the person you love. Okay, I'm a murderer anyway because she's been lying to me because I had to find out that ta-da, the bitch really didn't die. They had my kid and... Cause that's what he whispered, like basically, like yeah, I got the real information from um old boy, and that's so trippy that they really let you ride the whole se- the whole season, thinking that you know what I mean, Butch woman's dead. They did something to her. She died on. Then you find out that she died on the damn hospital bed having this monster child. But the slip up is one dude said the baby was born and it Last died. Ten seconds. Yeah, and then your girl said yeah, it was a miscarriage. miscarriage, and that slip of the tongue. Made him, you know, he was not a dumb person. And yeah, that was that was the imminent demise. And so when he killed his own his own last thing that he cared about, because I guess because he found a new thing to care about, really. He found out he had a kid. Um, yeah, Butch was all out of freaking cars and he blew them all up, but was saved. And in some weird way, I think Homelander is gonna try to make them a family. Mm-hmm. And that's gotta be weird. Uh that's yeah, that's gonna be why get, save Butch? Unless he's just trying to hurt him. Yeah, that is a good question. Why do save Butch? Yeah, like it seems like he's sort of doing you a favor there, Homelander. Because, um, I mean, you're going to walk out of this fine, right? I mean, I don't know. Nothing hurts Homelander. We've not given... That's the thing. We've got no weaknesses for really any of these superheroes. Mm-hmm. Even A-Train, that whole situation with him and Huey went down to... He overdosed. So he really undid himself. 
they could right, beat yeah, each other up and shit. In the middle of it, yeah. I mean, they're all human for the most part, but like, not all of them. Some of them are human for the most part, but when you look at the Homelanders and the Queen Maves, they're Wonder Woman and Superman, and they have not announced the Kryptonite. Right. Well, also, too, like, this show, like, displays from the very beginning, like, a level of violence. Oh, just God. Sort of, like, not- violence! Yeah, it's extremely like traumatic sometimes, and it and it doesn't really show any signs of stopping. It's like you kind of wonder by the time you get to maybe episode six, like, well, damn, what won't they do? You know, um, right? Like they maybe won't show you everything, but there are things that happen, and there are um, like like uh, um, we consequences got... for the shit that happens. Yeah, you know, like this shit is <clears throat> real. Um, and I, I found. I don't know, yeah, man, like, that's just something that I don't feel like I've gotten from a lot of stuff, like, everybody sort of feels, um, not at risk, but it's like, when, when they all get burned, I get the impression, like, because just a homeland and what he's, what he's capable of doing that, hey, all of y'all are fucked, you know what I'm saying, the fact that it's just A-Train that, uh, Huey has to deal with, yeah. is like, it, that's insane to me, but, like, it, you, I really feel the consequences of, of what could transpire if, like, Homelander gets... Into Homeland is scary as you know fuck. That's yeah. the bright burn baby growing up. Yeah, with more layers. Nigga, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. Hell but, um, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a dope world that they built there. Um, I mean, I hope that they really, really take their time and cultivate what they have before they start doing spinoffs, because, I mean... This I mean, such a huge they created their own happen. super villain, and that was an interesting thing that came about. Homelander needed, yeah, that whole thing created yeah, super villains right. because they had no super villains. So he, so they oh. made that they're gonna make Vought the biggest business because who's gonna fight super villains? But a couple because they had Vought by the balls. That's the thing. The whole time you're watching the boys um, try to bring Vought down. Try to bring Vaught, Vaught down. They come across it. They find out about the compound V because A Train's girlfriend. Um, they've been spying on her, and she winds up like killing this nigga by being on the a, by being on compound V and like blowing up his head from an oh, from yes, an orgasm. It's head. crazy yeah. shit. Right. But anyway, like they they have this whole deal where they're gonna bring him down from the inside. They got Huey spying on his new girlfriend who's Starlight, and that's a whole little layer of shit. You got all these pieces at play. How they gonna bring Vaught down? And they even win. They get all information. They get it to the right people. They get it to the authorities. And the authorities, at the same time, Homelander created supervillains. So now they can't move on Vought because it don't matter they if they have it. a compound V that's, that they're testing on babies and turning babies into yeah. goddamn. And that was a fire ass scene when um, they find the baby that, one of the babies that they was experimenting on and oh, they could like, use like, them oh, as a gun. Yeah. Oh my God, that was hilarious. But um, and they're like, don't shoot the asset. And they don't care about that at this point because now we got supervillains to contend with, and that's the only only heroes we got is on American soil. So it they they're all in a crazy spot, and um, it's interesting. Like it's gonna be interesting when the next season goes into um all his list of demands in the comic books. They do have though that whole they have their own base and everything. That list that he gave her, we want mm-hmm. this, we want that. Yeah, but now they're just straight up fugitives and shit. It's it's trippy. It's trippy how all this how it all played out. Um, Starlight storyline about how she found her own self because the whole deal about trying to make her sexy and throw her in the sexual garb and dude, this show had layers that did I did not expect going in mm-hmm. from every yeah. angle and aspect Agreed. of the game. Yeah, they, they yeah like I said, man, they took a lot of time to like it feels like build this world and it's like it, you know definitely it's all coming from a a pre-written uh comic but they do kind of make some changes and stuff here which um i don't know like i think the biggest thing that i, I just so like i said in the first 15 minutes maybe 10 minutes or so of this show commanded my attention and from that moment on i was on board and i i was i just wanted to finish this ride i was just gonna keep going um and uh uh but it yeah, it just it I don't know. Yeah, it worked for me. Like this there's there's so many layers, there's so much kind of going on. Huey in this decides world. to save A Train after all that shit. That yeah, I mean how we how where we start and where we end, yeah, I mean that's um yeah, it's interesting. It's like but you know, I don't know, Huey. I it's not gonna benefit you to be a good guy in this world. Because I'm saying A really Train alive is I'm, not good. Not at all. All right, none of none of them alive, really. None of them alive. Y'all was um, able to kill one. You can only do so much. You dig? I'm glad Starlight's back on your squad. I'm glad you got a superhero old lady, dog. But you're going to need one in where what's happening is about to go down. Yeah. Um, 
It's, it's so much, man. It's, it's, it's a dense thing. I told Marty we might have to go episode by episode at some point, like Euphoria and, and Dear White People, because it's so much yeah. going on to try to encompass it all is like mind blowing. <laughs> but if you if you if you if you if you dig the spoilers we already threw out there, watch it, tell us about it, talk about it, man. Because right. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this bitch. Because like I, I I fell instantly in love. Um, the ending though, we didn't speak on. He finds out his wife was alive the whole time. Like. What does yeah. that do to the character? Right, I mean... Butch. Yeah, so... So the thing about that is that uh, Homelander could have just let him die, like you said. But instead, he sort of kept him alive for what reason, I don't really know. Um, having this information. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's only going to torture him. And, I mean, she's going to have to explain to him, you know, what really happened here. And, uh, and why she, she disappeared and, you know, you know why we, we ended up here. But um, yeah, that's that's definitely gonna be no good for him. I'm and sure. That is the cliffhanger. Yeah, like what are we like? How are we gonna continue on into the next season with all that information? I mean, we can't. They renew. Oh yeah. Oh, you heard about the, the, the deleted scene about of Homelander like being so mad at one point that he jerks off from the sky onto all of New York. He said, "I can do what the fuck I want." He's jerking off, and, he, and they, they, Amazon hadn't cut out that scene because it was too much. <laughs> Yeah. No, I didn't hear about that one. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. All right. Totally happened. Fair enough. Um, they shot they, it. They shot it. They okay. shot it. All right. It exists somewhere yeah. in the world. I don't really care for that. <laughs> I don't really care to see that one. But okay, that's that's interesting. I mean, yeah. See, like I was saying, man, this is a show that you don't really know what their limits are. You know uh, what I well, mean? Well, they you found know where out. They, stop. they found out, but they tried it. Oh yeah, they. I mean, yeah. It's like no, we're we're not gonna allow let you do this. I'm sorry, we just can't have your your Superman uh, jerking off on New York. They train really man. killed this woman and blamed Huey. That was a whole deal too. Yeah, that whole thing, and then that whole like. So my girlfriend decided to jump in on the final uh, on the final ep- two episodes. I think it was she jumped in on. Yeah. And and like his whole little revelation at the very end where he's like. You killed him. He's like, no, I didn't. He's like, I know. (laughs) (laughs) I know. It was me. (laughs) What? But it's your fault. What, nigga? But it's your fault. Okay, whatever you say, man. Hey, Trey, look, listen, you the fastest man in the, you know, whatever. Uh, Look, listen, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Until the female fucked your leg up. Yeah. Um, Oh, and... Damn, boy. That, like, dog, can we, chemical was that. Good I, God damn. I was mad at first when Butch was so racist towards her because I'm like, son, that's a secret weapon, boy. Friends, you could get her on y'all squad. Y'all have a fucking, a, we- a real weapon. Yeah, I'm like, and then when she, like, sort of, I thought. She I can't she die. Herself. Yeah, like, I thought she. Then, she your girl from Young Justice. I'm the one you thinking the same thing. I'm like, God damn, Bob. Like, right. wouldn't it be dope if she was like, oh, girl from uh, what you would call it? And then the episode went on and on. And I'm like, oh, we're just going to stay on it? Oh, shit. She is like Violet. Yeah. Oh, shit. She don't She's die. Violet. She, she don't, don't die, die, bitch. Baby. We don't she die. Like we Bible, multiply. Yeah. You hear me? So, yeah, dog. Like, I, I'm like, dude, eight episodes was perfect. Some some shows overstay their welcome. Like, I, I love the CW Universe, but they do 22 episodes, dog, and they have a lot of filler that wind up happening for doing so many episodes. Oftentimes, I think 10 to 12 is a nice, good pocket. This 8 was a very good, like, you know, leave you one more situation. I think the future one should go to 10. It was even 10, like Power did. Power coming back soon, by the way. I'm scared to watch this last season. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, man. Okay, I yeah, I don't know. I can't really speak on um, <laughs> power. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I saw the trailer for the final season. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, it's Tommy versus Ghost. I don't even want to see that. I don't. I'm gonna I watch it, but I don't want them to be at odds. I'm not excited odds. about it. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't, don't really care about this final season. I mean, I care about just, the final yeah, seasons because no, I still care about the show. No. But I don't want to see Tommy and Ghost at odds. That's not something this I'm interested in fucking seeing. Fucking game, Ghost. And his bitch ass son. But uh, yeah, man, let's get to this Hobbs and Shaw. Pick a door. All right then. No, that's my door. Pick another door. What's wrong with you? You know what? You were right. This is your door. What's the matter? You got a lot of bad guys behind that door? Access grant. 
granted. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Luke Hobbs and Decker Shaw. We've got unfinished business. Shaw's sister took something from me. A virus that could wipe out half the population. And I want it back. You wanna tell me just what we're dealing with here? It's my sister. Family business. When it's the fate of the world, it becomes my business. This whole thing sounds really dodgy. Look after your sister. Listen, I'll handle it. The only way we survive is working together like a team. Let's do this. Buckle up, fat boy. On my three. One. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Hey, you see the look on his face? You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do that. Yeah, cause it's one time. The music's already started. Let's see if we can get in sick. So you guys are being hunted by an army of mercenaries led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. You're crazy. Damn. He really is Black Superman. You need to get off the grid. Where? Home. My babies come home. I'm sorry to bring trouble here, Mama, but I need my brothers. This family is going to war. We're gonna need cars and guns. Mama, where's all our guns? I get rid of them. Very noble, Mrs. Hobbs. We are in serious trouble. That's an understatement. Let's get old school. Well, all right. The fucking superhero movie spinoff of Fast of the Fast and the Furious franchise. Yeah. The one that made Tyrese so insecure in his pants that he started an unnecessary beef with The Rock. And um, he still was talking unnecessary petty shit because the movie, in his eyes, didn't open big enough or what have you, even though it made some money. I mean, yeah, I, th I thought it made... <clears throat> I thought it was good. I thought it did pretty good. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, it did people you know, opinion, usually when know. the rocks attached to something, it makes more money. In oh, word. Week. Okay. Word. So Tyrese okay. tweet, tweet, deleted uh, some bullshit. And I'm like, talking about they need to come back to the Fast and Furious franchise because um, nobody care about them in the spinoff, basically. They want to see all the characters together. I'm like, this nigga just trying to hold on what? as hard as he can. Yeah. I, to I two lighters, dude. I am tripping. Losing lighters, man. I am. Oh, there's what. There it is. Never mind. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> he's Marty's high. He he's just holding on to whatever he yeah. can. Right. Because that's all he got. His singing career ain't happening right now. No one else seemed to be booking. But no, hold up. I think he about to play some singer. Um, was it Teddy Pendergrass? What? He about to play somebody in some uh, lifetime or some you know indie joint. Oh, serious? I, I forgot not, who it was I though. Did not hear. But okay, that's interesting. But how do you feel about Hobbs and Shaw, man? The film. Uh, initial thoughts, bro. Initial thoughts, man. Um, I didn't like it as much as I I wanted to. Um, I thought it was okay though. Just you know, played played a lot played a lot better the second time around. Um, because of the constant phone calls about my car, like having to see it with you that second time, it did like gel a lot better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I expected a lot more charm from um from Rock and uh, or Hobbs and Shaw. Um, like. I thought about it. I was thinking about it today, and like the first time we see Hobbs in um in Fast Five, like dude, he that like that is like the best opening 
like scene like he has some some dope ass dialogue that is never heard again but i mean he he just has this really commanding like fucking presence i'm like damn y'all y'all fucking with the wrong one man and then when they get on the same team i was like oh shit this is gonna be dope um but um like yeah no nah, i i just i don't a lot of that i don't know man a lot of it just didn't work for me i mean him solo by himself him with this kid and stuff him with ryan reynolds all that stuff worked for me always all day i'll take that any day um him him and like um shaw or him yeah Hobbs and shaw just kind of going at it through the whole fucking movie and shit and like i don't know it just it wasn't as fun as i thought it would be and um but you know still at the end of the day I was more happy with this movie than I have been in a in the last couple. So you know, it's you know, it uh, it's just it's a little mediocre for me. How did you uh, how did you feel about it? Well, the only thing I want to throw in there is uh, see, I have not seen the last two or three Fast and Furious films, so I, I have the only thing I knew about Shaw is he killed Han. So I'm just like, right. how the hell is the nigga that killed Han now it's supposed to be yeah, now family? family. So I gotta watch the other movies to catch up on how you know we we could be cool after this nigga killed your partner and shit. But I mean, he does do something. He does like you know what this movie made me like appreciate the other fat the last Fast movie, Fast Fate of the Furious, because there's two dope ass scenes in that movie, and both of them, one of them include Shaw and Hobbs, Mm. which makes you think. This would be a perfect fucking idea, mm-hmm. right? Because they work in very small doses, right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> then there's another scene where uh, oh boy, I don't know. Do you want me to do you want me to spoil you? Or you no, think you may no, watch I'm, it? I'm gonna watch it. I'm okay, gonna watch cool. it. There's another scene. Well, okay, he has a, he has a scene that if you want to look at it as the first step to his redemption or entrance or forgiveness from the family or in the family, whatever the fuck we, we're looking at it, um, there they did give him something. Don't a bargaining kill, don't, chip. Don't there. kill his brother though. Wait, who? Shaw. Did don't, Shaw kill his don't brother? Don't Shaw kill his brother or something? No. Uh-uh. You fuck his brother up or something? No, no. That, he actually shows up in the last movie. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, something weird about, like, okay, one thing I want to say about this before I say what I feel about this movie. If I remember right, Shaw murdered a whole lot of people. Yes. Yes, he did. Now, in Hobbs and Shaw, they make it seem like he got set up and that's why he went rogue and we should feel bad for him. But I'm like, you not only That's went rogue, Shaw, yeah, yeah. you went rogue. <laughs> Even if you were set up to go rogue, you started indulging in that rogue shit. It's not yeah. like it you became got about set revenge. up. It's not like you got set up and went into hiding and just lived the life of like Dexter in the trees, bitch. You said, well, niggas think I'm a bad guy, so now I'm about to be murdering people. So that's the only thing that, because I didn't see that film, but I heard enough of that film to make me go away. We ain't gonna act like Shaw was like some like at least Hobbs came from being a, like a, a cop type nigga, you know what I'm saying? You ain't about to tell me this nigga who came through, who killed Han, who murdered all these people in these trailers I saw and shit. It was just this good guy at heart. You hear me? Yeah. But that aside, I dug this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, I was word. a fan. Okay. I had fun. I told you, dog. Yeah. This movie is a big dumbass movie. You hear me? But I had fun in this big yeah. dumbass movie. <laughs> yeah, you should have died fifty <laughs> times in this big dumbass movie. Oh, yeah. You can't. You got the Rock and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw got superpowers. Ain't no way you go tell me oh, they don't. Oh yeah, they, they fight do. with a cheat code or something, nigga. There's been too many times they should be dead. The Rock motherfucking held a goddamn chain attached to a damn helicopter while standing on the back of a pickup truck, and I'm supposed to believe he was able to do that shit, nigga. This was one big dumbass. Fun ass movie, dog. It's one of the movies like after we had to sit in <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and shit. This one of those yeah, movies that like, yeah. I could just turn my brain off, look at them, you know, quip and be funny and shit, like the cameos from Ryan Reynolds and Kevin Hart and shit, and mm-hmm. you know, just be like, oh, there goes some big dumb ass explosions, there goes mm-hmm. some big dumb ass fights. This is just one big dumb ass movie, dog. <laughs> I, I just I enjoyed it, dog. I I, I had Word. fun. I, okay. I had fun with it. All now right. I will say, like you said, there mm-hmm. a few too many like. At a point, them fighting each other is like them um, bickering. Yeah, got a little extra at times. Yeah. And I will say, the movie would have been better if they had shaved about twenty minutes. Agreed. Like it, it just ran too long. Yeah, I, yo, yeah, definitely. I mean, we we get that whole like montage where everybody has the fist bump. It's just like oh, oh I, they God, they made it seem damn. like the Samoan fist bump is God, that's the I shit, damn. bro. That is I that mean, is like, their thing. What the fuck did fist he tell? Bump, did he bump. really tell everybody to? 
Hey, all right, we see this guy. We're going to have a fist right. bump montage. Hey, you. Hey, we fist, fist bump. Yeah, fist, 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 Make sure you yeah. fist bump with hey, Roman hey, Reigns from WWE because he's yeah, not nobody gonna, likes him. And he's not going to say anything <laughs> in this entire movie. And nobody wants him. So, I'm uh, a WWE <laughs> fan, dog. I'm a huge wrestling fan, yeah. son. So it was funny being a wrestling fan, right? Yo. And seeing from the other perspective of they was making it seem like on wrestling, like he was walking the red carpet. He's bro. been interviewed by people. I got to make you laugh real quick. What's up? <laughs> I went into work. Talking to you know my coworkers, the ones we talk about, who the died. ones that suck. Yeah, those guys. And um, I called him Raymond Reigns. Raymond <laughs> Reigns. And them niggas started laughing at me, man. I was jumping to the floor. And I was just like, Oh my god! And I was just that like, so much the lame. Fuck are you guys laughing? At? Raymond. You think I have a wrestler named Raymond Reigns? Raymond. Raymond. Like, I'm <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? Like, the fuck Raymond? is his name again? What's I'm like. <laughs> I don't want to get out of there. I'm so fucked up. Not Raymond Reigns. I'm like, good old Raymond. I didn't know, man. I'm like, like, Roman, nigga. You know, I'm so far removed now. Strength. Roman Reigns. You're right. I remember the shit now, nigga. Raymond Reigns is going to enter the building and beat up everybody. This nigga's laughing like two minutes, man. <laughs> like, he laughing too. Like, he laughing just like them niggas was, yeah, man. Like, I said it was two of them. They're like a nigga named Earl Cunningham about to come and be a wrestler or Steve. Not just Steve. <laughs> not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just a nigga named Steve. But what's funny is this, dog. What? They got this. Okay, they got this shit in WWE. They got this uh, UK branch of one of their brands called NXT UK, right? NXT is this like great wrestling show that comes on their network. And NXT uh-huh. UK is their UK branch. There's this wrestler, dog. This big, huge, big motherfucking nigga, dog. His name is just Walter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when I first saw his name, dog, I started laughing. I was like, dog, this nigga's name. He just gets to wrestle. His name is just Walter. Walter. <laughs> but what make it pop is this. One, he's big and he cold. And two, mm-hmm. since they're UK with the accent and how amp they get. They be like, Walter! Walter's into the building! <laughs> oh, no! It's Walter! So they got me so fucked up. I was like, where Walter at? I want some more. Walter! <laughs> Man, so I, I, sometimes a right. weird name would get away, but I don't even think the Brits can save Raymond! Raymond Reigns! Raymond! Nah, it's not I happening. I thought I knew what I was talking now, about. Now, only Raymond I want is uh, on <laughs> Ghostbusters. But, um, yeah, <laughs> dog. Enough. They did all this hype for yeah. him on WWE programming about how he's in the movie because, you know, he's cousins with The Rock. And, and this was around the time where he had to take some time off because uh, he had leukemia, man, like real shit. Oh, Yeah, okay. so he had to take like, like nine months off, but he fought back and now he's back wrestling. He all good now. Okay. But he had to take some... While he was taking that time off, he shot that movie and such. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay... I ain't expecting him no big role, but I'm like when the yeah. Rock said, "I'm going home." You feel me? Yeah. And it, it was they was gonna go all the way, some kind of magical way. They got all the way to Samoa from like <laughs> France. I don't right. know how they do all that. That was more mad. This movie was dumb, y'all. But uh, <laughs> this man right. Roman Reigns ain't say now one word no in the entire film. He had fist bumps. He got to do his finishing maneuver from, from wrestling the spear and shit. They did double team moves. He got to yell with the rock. Hoo ha! But this man. Okay, so that was his finishing move. That when he spear you, yeah, yeah. He, that's his thing. Okay, he didn't say word. one word, G. I was like, No, he bro, did not. I ain't about to be walking on the red carpets, though, that I had to like no <laughs> words, dog. Like, I was like, Yeah, I was a little upset about that, man. Like, even the great Kali got, got subtitles. I mean, like, damn, bro. Yeah. Like, what, like, what's up with this dude? Like, what is he not speak English? What's going on with him, man? What's up? wrong with his vocal cords this right did he yo no, like, was yeah, he just random Samoan like, dude to have like a line like oh, oh, oh good are we doing good work brother yeah, did said. he fucking lose the game of rock paper scissors I'm before like, it came time to pick roles like i mean what dude, happened here man you, I don't you got you got the wwe superstar here and you give the line to two <laughs> random Samoan extras they got to get the bump over a rock and robert raids I should call him Raymond for that. He was Raymond in this movie because he got Yo, he got fucking sucked, son. Let me let me tell you something. I don't know. I don't know, I don't watch the WWE, but if it, this feels like a very very uh, clear indication on how somebody feels about him, <laughs> so I, I don't know. Is he popular? Nigga, he's one of the biggest stars they have. Okay, because I, I I've heard that they want him to be popular, but like nobody really likes him. I mean, here go the deal. Okay. With Roman Reigns, if we take this aside right fast. Okay. 
All right, when he came in the game, son, he came in the game in this group, and in the group, he was like the newest cat. He was, he was like, you know, he still was kind of learning the way, in the, in, the, in the way, but he was like a powerhouse. He was a cool cat. He ain't say many words. That character okay. worked. Ah. That character got over and people started really kind of liking him. Like, oh, yeah, he the powerhouse of the shield. That's the name of the group, the shield. Mm. And he like, you know, he only thing he said was like, believe that. He said something quick like, I'm going to whip your ass. And that'd be it. You know, it worked. It was like cool, yeah. long gunman that shit. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Now, at times what the WWE will do is they will find a motherfucker that people like. And start pushing them to the point that you feel like they're shoving them down the throat. It's fun when it's organic. When you find a guy that you like, you feel me? You start yeah. cheering them. And then like the natural way is, all right, pick up on the fans liking this person. But subtly build them into being, you know, the number one guy or what have you. What they did was once they saw that people like started liking Roman, they started they started pushing them and pushing them to the point of he was beating everybody. He became this oh. invincible. Once it, it got to a point where it's like, okay, we get it. You know that we like him, so fans rebelled. You know what I mean? They were always mm. like kids and women love this nigga. You know what I mean? But yeah. there's that like core like you know what I mean twenties teenage. You know what I mean? Crowd of vocal men that's like, fuck this guy. Specifically <laughs> because y'all are like not making it even fair or fun. You just made him this freaking God person that we see that he's your guy. And once, you know, rebellious motherfuckers like he's your guy, they're going to be them booze and that, you know, <laughs> suck shit. So that went for like a minute where he'll come out yeah. and he'll get a splattering of everything. He'll get these huge amount of cheers because he has a lot of fans. And you get this booze, and you just like, well, one thing that's about wrestling is this. As long as you're getting a response, even though he's positioned, supposed to be a good guy, so you, they don't want yeah. him being booed. But right. getting a response at all is better than no response, because we ain't making no money if they ain't going to give a damn about you. Yeah. So even if they cheering and booing you, at least they give Pen a damn. Attention. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But after the leukemia thing, niggas weren't booing him that much, because how you going to oh. boo a nigga that almost lost his life, dog? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like, nah, it's like, like... The man with leukemia? Yeah, you know what I'm like, Look at the show. That's kind of fucked up, yo. And then when he came back, um, like, when he first came back, nobody was booing him. Now, lately, it's been like, okay. there's a small portion that's starting to build it up again. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but it's, it's nowhere near what it was. <laughs> You're healthy now. It's the small contention. It's nowhere near how it's, like, split pre mm. leukemia. And right. lately, they've been keeping him away from the world title. They ain't been pushing him down the throats. So, you know, he has a right. shot of redeeming his character. Everybody, mm -hmm. I personally think he needed to become a bad guy. Because the funniest thing is this, though. And that wrestling funny, in the, the, the theater that is wrestling, mm -hmm. if you become a bad guy, and if you're very, very entertaining as a bad guy, and people get all their boos out their system of wanting to boo you, They'll start cheering you after a while because you're so talented at being a bad guy. Some of the <laughs> many of the biggest stars from The Rock to Stone Cold Steve Boston, so yeah. many of them. The thing that people started liking was their bad guy personas was so fucking catchy. And yeah. then they started getting cheered, and that's when it's organic again. When it's organic, you gotta sustain a star over there. But anyway, how's the goddamn <laughs> show, son? Right. Um, yeah, dude, the movie started off in <laughs> The movie started off ridiculous, though. It was like, you know what I mean? Idris Elba is chasing this little, uh, this little white chick, you know what I mean? Because she yeah. has some virus that he's trying to get. And I love Idris as the bad guy, um, but it was yeah, like... he introduces himself as that. His first I'm the thing. bad guy. And, Who are you? Yeah, and, and, and you know, as in many movies that we've seen, he's, he's part machine and there's this virus that will kill all the weak. Mm. And everyone else that's not the weak will survive and we will make you better because the human race is weak and we need to evolve. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that makes each <laughs> Elba so amazing is that yeah. he takes all that goofy shit he still swag on that dialogue out and make you be like, Damn, Idris, you are a gem because yeah. with another or a lesser actor, this would be so mm. corny coming out of their mouths. Yeah, I mean, he does sort of grant the movie some sort of, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, Cachet, gravitas? Yes. Um, be, yeah, just by his presence. So, I mean, I'm, yeah, I, I, a lot of the stuff I think wouldn't have worked on anyone else. Like he had this one dumbass yeah. line. I forgot what it was. Which it was one? like, I mean, which one? Bullet schmullets. Or some stupid <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> and I was like, they made you say that, dog. But the yeah. way he just swag, you like, well, you eat yourself, dog. You say what the fuck you want to say about yeah, dog. You just, like, you use, it just right, come man. out like, you're not Morgan Freeman. No matter what Morgan Freeman says or James Earl Jones says, it's going to yeah. always sound eloquent. Keep right. David and Tells from the Hood, too. It's like, yo, 
<laughs> like they didn't give you the best to work with Shit. my nigga, but you the still do the poop of the poop. <laughs> <laughs> but you still motherfucking keep David. You still keep David, baby. You know I mean? Ain't nobody gonna take that. So Idris Elba, son, it was like, dog, they gave him some of the most like clunky yeah. dialogue at times. Yeah. And you know, be still swagging. I, my only problem was why this old uh Mr. Claw ass uh overlord who did we never see their face. Oh yeah, I mean fucking Charlie from Charlie's Angels, that goddamn bastard. We don't no. know who he, like we never see his face. He just he always is just talking over a goddamn they box. Undermined Idris Elba's character by having that thing, that voice box fucker exist. I mean, but then at the very end, they sort of undermine him in the worst possible way. Yeah, but I'm saying, but, I think they, okay, if you want, uh, of course you want sequels. If you wanted that character, this hidden motherfucker that's behind Idris Elba, like, introduce them. I mean, you them, can get him again. Intro, you know what I'm saying? Introduce him at the end of the movie. Like, mm. make it seem like this is all yeah. Idris Elba's idea and let him not feel like just some henchman of some larger force. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that was my one of my issues with it. Like, it would have worked so much better if the whole time, the whole movie, we thinking is Idris Elba on one. That's what the fuck <laughs> he doing. And if we get more scenes of him just, you know, being the bad guy. Because all his scenes were pretty fire. Like, his black Superman situation was G as fuck. But, like, once you find out he a henchman, he just a bitch boy to the voice in the box. is like, oh, uh, man, what you is... Know, Somebody, somebody so you're just going to make another one is what you're saying. You know, like, you like, ain't even... They, right, okay. they can make another you, dog. Yeah. You ain't even that special no more. But at the top of the movie, the white girl who we figure out, who we find out is uh, Shaw's, Shaw's sister, sister, which was pretty much one of the easiest reveals ever. You could tell kind of early. Did you watch the trailers? No. Oh, not okay. really many of them, no. Okay. But, um, like, yeah, um, she put the virus in herself to keep it away from Idris Elba, who murdered all these other people and framed her. Because the poor apparently works for this secret shadow organization that controls the media. So they make it seem like she murdered her own partners and stole this big virus, and she's a big ass terrorist and shit. Mm-hmm. And um, no, she just put the virus in herself. If she don't get it out of her ass in a few days, she's toast. Yeah, but, they but, ain't going to kill everybody around her. Yeah, but you know, it's a big dumbass movie that's fun. So, yeah. of course, she's going to get it out of her at the end. But, you know, right. we're well, supposed to have this. Save the world. We're supposed to have this, you know, this, you know, this, this suspense like, oh my God, she's going to die. That actress killed the role, though. I love her character. Uh, how she really always saved herself. How she was, you know, a badass. You know what I mean? Oh, she fucking rocked. Yeah. Yeah, she rocked it. I was listening to somebody's podcast where they were saying, like, how many roles she based, or like the things she has to um, take on as, like, love interest. Um, um, Oh shit! I can't remember them all. Never mind. This was the most yeah. unnecessary love interest ever. They did not need to have her and the Rock do any motherfucking they thing. They didn't have to. I they swear, I stand by the Rock. Anyway, they didn't need to like be together. They didn't have to have a kiss and shit. The Rock but, has eh. his contract that he has to have a white female lead, romantic lead in every movie he in. Are you that's, serious? That's how I feel. I ain't serious. Oh. That's how I feel, nigga. Dog. I'm like, that's how I feel. So he ain't never got what? a black woman. They always like, nope. It's, I'm the Rock. And my female league gonna be a white woman, and I'm gonna give me a, a white girl kiss. And that's what's gonna go down, because oh, I'm the man. rock. Yeah, that fine ass uh, Rodriguez girl. Who? When? I forget her name. Where? Oh. The ratio ain't high, brother. Nah, wasn't only me once. talking about, uh, we were saying it was him and Will Smith that do that shit. But when you really look at Will Smith on IMDb, he's had a few well, white women, had, but he had a whole lot of black women, women too. Yeah, right? yeah, like, right. that, that, so I got yeah. to take that off my dog, Will. It's just recently yeah. in his most recent roles, they just like to put Will with white women. White women. But yeah, in, his, in his totality. White women are hot right now. In his totality. <laughs> he ain't been on that. My nigga, The Rock, son. All the movies, dog. Sometimes he even got yeah. white kids. One movie oh, he, I'm watching, yeah. that one of the kids was white. I'm like, yo, yeah. Rock, you Samoan and black, dog. You not, you not Michael Jackson, dog. Everybody had these white kids, bro. Not Lily, not Lily, my nigga. Come yeah. on, Rocky. Yeah, I love you. But yeah, I mean, that aside, still, still dug, the, still dug the character. Yeah, I mean, I, know? I, and I love that opening with him and Shardy both basically be showing how they uh, have their day to day shit. Uh, and that was a little extra to show us. Oh, they're the same but different. But <laughs> different. Look at this. They and all have a routine. But a big and stupid blah, blah, montage. Blah, blah. Um, the Rock at the meetup with Ryan Reynolds was a big cameo as a CIA operative to get him into this game to find uh, Shaw's sister. Yeah, everything in Ryan Reynolds in this movie was great. He was so yeah, he the, on old, point. Old boy did direct, I believe, Deadpool two, I believe. The director of this, yeah. So called um, in a favor. Called in a favor. Said uh, they they say that he was like on set like two days with everything. So that that's uh yeah that's I mean that's pretty dope. And then I imagine like 
uh, Rock and Kevin Hart can't be apart. So <laughs> it seems it seems like even though I liked what Kevin Hart was in the film, you made a great point when we saw the movie. Um, when we were talking about it when we left the theater mm-hmm. about how it seemed like the the Shaw's Wrangler should have been a cameo too. Yeah, it definitely should have. Because if you got yeah, Ryan Reynolds, did that, yeah. so Kevin Hart should have been Shaw's Shaw, Wrangler. Yeah, and, why not? And you could have gave another cameo to whoever Kevin Hart was on the plane. Yeah, you know that would have been so much funnier though, man. God damn it, Because we had man. this whole breakdown with Ryan Reynolds. Oh. So imagine Kevin Hart and Jason Statham having to go through this da 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 That like, motherfucker clearly had one day. But I mean, like, how, Mal- they but Kevin probably Hart was shot him funny. out one day. He, the, the, his haircut aside that we were supposed yeah, to not right. notice, yeah. he was funny in the parts that he was in. So I ain't saying take him out but if you're gonna keep Kevin Hart where he is you should have had someone just as equally as recognizable as Ryan Reynolds being a person that's getting shot to come into the game because the, his whole scene with Rock and his, the Rock's daughter and his chemistry with the Rock and the Rock's daughter like was some of the highlights of the whole film was Keanu Reeves not available I'm just not you know I'm just saying I, I mean they did John no. Wick he did he's John not, Wick he's not funny like that uh, I think it would have worked Nah, I'm not saying. Keanu. I'm just saying, dude. Like there's, just there's somebody that we're oh, not yeah, even yeah. thinking of that we like. Imagine, imagine we had Paul Rudd. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just what the fuck are you doing in this movie, Paul Rudd? You know what I mean? Dude? Like I so, like something that surprising that just had me like, huh? You know what I mean? So mm. now, I don't know who it could have been. Vince Vaughn. It, it, it could have been somebody black. Cat Williams. Not Cat Williams. I mean, they get it for Cat oh my God, Cat Williams. Not it it wouldn't work. Yes. No, 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 no. No, you work. said it. He is not. You said it. You know. It, you know it's it. my choice. <laughs> and now I want it. I'm, I'm doubling down no, no. on it. Chappelle. That would have worked. If it was Chappelle. Man, he would. I don't. I don't know. Rock. Mm-hmm. Not Chris. Chris Rock. Yeah. That'd be cool if it's Chris Rock. It's Jason Statham. Chris Rock's doing the Saw movies. No. That's gonna be weird enough. But Wait, anyway, what? Yeah, you know that. Wait, Chris Rock is doing what? Saw movies. Like he's directing them. He uh got the franchise now. He's gonna be in it and he's directing. I believe. Yeah. Jesus. Fuck. Chris Rock. Boy. But, hey man, Jordan Peele came from um, you know Key and Peele. Son, who would have thought that he would have made Get Out Nuts? What if Chris Rock got this specific voice and vision for horror, dog? Oh. He might, son. He might. He man. might, son. You know, I. I Yo, no, yes, yeah, son. I like. Don't don't get this twisted, dude. I own pretty. I'm trying to think if there's, if there's a Chris Rock movie that I don't own. I love like Chris Rock. Chris he's Rock. He's one of my favorite standups, if not. He's one of I, top five, man. I can watch that shit. Once top five was great. Yeah, that shit was awesome. I can watch that shit over and over again. But I. <clears throat> I don't know if I want this. <laughs> but then again, I may want something I don't know I want. So, I mean, you know, hopefully that's the case. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, back to Hopkins. They get wrangled in and right. they get on this mission. Of mm-hmm. course, like, we ain't going to have a movie. They don't you know, get together and they have this whole pissing match. Really, the whole movie is a pissing match between those two throughout the whole deal. Um, and, and just one that gets old eventually. That's that's they, what the, that's what the issue is. I'm not that's my issue, dude. Old, yeah. But it does, it does. where it's welcome. I'll <laughs> give you that. You know what I mean? It's like because like when you They're say it's even... old, you make me feel, like put it like this. I look at it like okay. stale bread versus mildew. It got a little stale, but it wasn't mildew. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't mildew. all mildew <laughs> makes me okay. It was mildew for you. Mill dude was all putting, so he was mill dude. For right. me, it was like, it'll stale, but if I, you know, I can make French toast out of this. You hear me? I can still use it. You dig? I, 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 I ain't, ain't the end of the world. You dig? Word. But, like, yeah. Okay. Because at moments when it did work, like when they uh, had to yeah. infiltrate that uh, building and The Rock had to fight that one nigga <laughs> while uh, Jason Statham had to fight See. all them niggas. And then at the end, he had that bit where now you got to use the uh, the person's eye to freaking get in the next door. He had to go through all these niggas' eyes. See, <laughs> has, see nigga, how, that was a great I, scene. How excited you are. I know that you didn't see the trailer. <laughs> I didn't see the trailer. Yo, that whole fucking scene was in the trailer. Oh, good. And then you know how long it took to get to that point, though? My like we're like almost three quarters of the way into I saw it when the, we get to that point. I saw but the that first, is a dope scene. The very first trailer, which was because I think we watched it together here, and uh. so the only things that I knew had to happen specifically was that I knew it was gonna go to Samoa because right. yeah, I, and I knew Roman Reigns was gonna be in the motherfucker. Right. But like okay. right. I, I stayed away from a lot of trailers though because I'm on this kick now. Like 
only reason I'm watching trailers is because we do this show. You mm-hmm. feel me? Right. But I, like it, one's enough. You know, yeah, one enough trailer. because a lot of these movies, these trailers be showing too much. That's why I appreciate Marvel, dog, because Marvel, you know, like they, they mastered the, I'm going to show you just enough and fuck you up when you see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I need everybody to get on Marvel's train of thought of, yo, <laughs> just save something save, for the fucking save movie. Save most of it for the movie, dog. I can't imagine, like, being an artist, you know what I mean? Being a director and, like, knowing how I want the film to play. But you already expecting a majority of what's supposed to surprise you storyline wise, nigga. If, like if I was a director out here in this game, all my trailers would be footage that I cut out the movie. <laughs> Every movie would be shit I ain't even using. <laughs> it's just enough to get you to want to see this, and then when you see it, you like, oh shit, you hear me? Because you know, I kept the better thing, so you're going to right. not be mad. <laughs> It'd be like you know, you're gonna be a little upset. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna be, be like I'm sure you would see. That there's no version of this scene in the movie. It's just the scene you saw in the trailer is... It's a different one. It's different. It you know what I mean? So. It's just so you can have a different uh-huh. experience when you see my movie. Marvel does that sometimes as well. But, oh, um, yeah. Marvel fucking CGI's motherfuckers into shots. And out of shots. And out of... Yeah, that, I love them niggas. Well, protect your crafty. story, dog. Them niggas is crap. Dog, we storytellers, dog. Protect your motherfucking story, son. Word. And I'm glad in a film like this, I didn't see everything that was coming, son. Because, again... I was able to turn my brain off and watch the film. So as the movie go on, you know, the uh, Shaw said I'm gonna do my own thing. The Rock, like, well, you know, I'm a well. They both basically I'm gonna do my own thing. Uh, yeah. The Rock still works with the CIA. Shaw used to be on his super spy shit, and mm-hmm. the Rock comes across, you know, Shaw's sister. They have this nice little fight, you know, once again, and you know, Rock. This is what's the Rock picks her ass up by one arm. Yeah. Like her whole body. I'm like, the Rock is a freaking like superhero of all superheroes, dog. Apparently he's he's really Hercules. He's really John. Uh, uh what, what's my nigga? He's about to play him in a movie. Uh, folk hero. Uh, uh, John Henry. Yeah, he's really John Henry. So like, oh my goodness. But The Rock captures the woman, uh, and we find out, you know, they they have a little chemistry deal and blah blah blah, and they yeah. have a little boom boom boom, and the boom 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 is a uh, a uh, uh, witty wet parte. And right. uh, I think Shaw comes back and sees that's his sister, and it's going to be, oh, it's my sister. Yeah, they have this little, um, I guess, it, it exchange that I feel like plays again. Basically, well, so well, well, no. First, we get this interrogation scene in between The Rock and uh, and um, uh, what's her name? Shaw's sister. Shaw's sister. Name. Yeah, get her name. And Shaw at the same time is going to visit their mom, and their mom even drops the line, "I want you to get back cool with your sister." So I'm like, okay, yeah. you drop this in the movie, and then we see this mysterious woman, white woman with an accent. Oh, yeah. duh. And this is this is like this whole idea of Shaw being set up. It's like something brand new to us. Like this is something that they that they pulled aside to kind of be like, okay, now we can. He's one of us. We've done this sort of thing before. And it's like, no, we really did. He got more penance he need. Yeah. I love his mother's character, though. I love the mom character. Oh, yeah, yeah. She shows up, too, in, in the last movie. Uh, I think Actually, I think that's the first time we see her. But, um, yeah, she's always she's always dope. Every, every scene she's in, she's amazing. Um, and then um, uh, what happens next after that? Oh, well, like, you know what I mean? Uh, Shaw. Uh, yeah. They, oh, that's oh, when Idris Elba character come and, like, while they having all this bickering sets because she's trying to get away. He, um, Sh- um, Shaw's just trying to get away. Shaw's, like, yeah. trying to defend her. The Rock trying to get her. Boom. He just Elba and them just bust through the glass. Like, we coming for that ass. We yeah. Want her. That was pretty dope. Yeah, they were having, like, this Mexican standoff uh, when... Um, uh, when Shaw gets back, oh, and then there's that, that little bit of, um, uh, um, uh, uh, confusion, uh, about, um, who, who, uh, Shaw's sister is. Yeah. Uh, Rock is like, you know, your girlfriend here needs to, you know, like, yeah, that's yeah, disgusting. That's, yeah, but as yeah. I said, but we could tell a mile away that was going to be his sister. Yeah, it was, it was pretty clear. But then we, we jump into that, like, action scene. And that's the one from just, the trailer I saw when he was oh, running yeah. down the goddamn building. That's the okay. one I knew from the trailers. Because that okay, was a yeah. big set piece. It was, yeah. I, I thought it fun. played out. Yeah, no, Still it was fun. And I see, you know, that's the thing about that one. Like, that one actually played out a lot differently from, from the whole thing in context. Yeah. Like, it felt different. He's in running up a building and fighting nigga wow, wow Shaw just was elevated so that shit was bro. just whoa your imagination whoever created that was nuts yeah. now this is what I won't give you what The Rock fell like 
far, dog. Like, not to stand apparently Real Idris Elba broke his fall, but did he no. really, nigga? I saw that shit twice. I'm like, nigga, y'all nigga, both hit that bitch pretty hard, nigga. Right, nigga, you supposed to have broken bones. Exactly. So many times, both Hobbs and Shaw should have broken bones. But specifically Hobbs. I understand this man is one big muscle, but god damn it, dog. There's certain things where I'm like, muscles break. Yeah, they tear. But anyway, yeah, that was. A, but I love the action scene from coming Everyone from the side of the building and to get into Shaw's car to the big chase scene with Idris on a motorcycle and every choke that you thought where the car was gonna get away. Idris is really Black Superman. His motorcycle is really Kit, and them motherfuckers was one. And dude, it, it was some shit to get away from Idris Elba's Black Superman as character Brixton, I think his name was. Yeah. And uh, I I dug it. That like that's the thing. You go to movies like that to see shit like that. Big, Word. awesome action set pieces. That was the beauty of that film, son. That's all I needed from it. It just, it just mm. was too many. It just went too long. Yeah. But it's all I needed from this movie, dog. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, you said 20 minute, uh, 20 minute 20 minutes, bro. You yeah, got 20 I minutes of this that. movie. I think you got a great action film. I mean, I mean, yeah. Big and dumb. Yeah, the quicker we can get to Samoa, man, which is just like we're dragging our feet. Like, we know we're going to get there. Like, let's just get there, man, so we can, you know. Yeah, I mean, because then get we get to going. Shaw's hideout, and they figure that they got to uh, go across to some other spot because them niggas, but they're wanted because the shadow yeah, organization. Yeah, need to go find the, uh, the, the inventor of the, um, of the, uh, oh, that, of who, the virus. Who, who, who can take the virus out, his sister. Yeah. So, um, you know, Shaw get them fake IDs and whatnot. And um, it was a funny little scene of um, them getting on a plane, playing completely different to the IDs that Shaw got him. And Shaw tried to fuck over Hobbs. <laughs> yeah, Mike Cox. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, and, but uh, with, with the ID that had a guy that had some attachments. But The Rock charmed <laughs> his way out of it, of course, and got on the plane. And all of them on the plane. And what? I, I'm sorry, go what ahead. What you about to say, Money? Well, I was going to say, do you not feel like they missed an opportunity there? Because like, when he gets on the plane and he's like... You know what? People like me, but mm-hmm. you wouldn't know that because you don't have any friends. That was a great scene. And then it's that. like, but like they could have like that could have been a part of his character, like you know, because he was set up like he's this loner and he kind of maybe like doesn't know how to like you know bro with people anymore. You know what I'm and saying? You know what would have like, been funny? We see him open up or whatever. Oh, what if you have got self conscious about that? Like exactly. Yeah. Like nigga say you got no friends and one life, and I whiff it really would have hurt. And yeah. Then we see him like. Now he's trying to be more nice or likable, and it's like weird because he's not used yeah, to being nice. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, gonna throw a rock off, like, like what the fuck, fuck you are you doing? About? What are you yeah. doing? You're throwing Kick jabs ass, at him, man. like he's rocking through jabs at him and shit, and like the nigga were like not like hit him with some love, and he's like, yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> moments. I think that'd have been something they could have played into. I'd have like, they could have fun something. with that because then it would have made the um the the the, the jabs that they just kept, the bickering. It would have took it in a different, a different direction. Yeah. Instead of the same level of with Bickering. Because even if they had that moment where we need to work together, it still was Bickering. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, even if he like tried that shit and just reverted back, it would have been just a nice tonal switch for yeah. a minute. Yeah. You know, we only really take a breath from them going at each other's throat for like... At the end of the movie when they just... Yeah, when they want to fucking... When it's, when it's fish bump montage time. It may, you know? You know, and even after that, when they got a fight, after they crashed off of half of a mountain... From a plane, <laughs> all of them crash yeah. into this freaking um, superheroes. whatever um, Lion King happened because they, they crashed right into that area. Even it became nighttime out the blue with waterfalls at the end of the movie. Tyler Perry is renting out that studio. Oh baby. my god, so, <laughs> this movie was freaking amazing. So like, right. dude, they, they, like son, the, no one was hurt <laughs> that, that they crashed it's amazing. from half a side of a mountain from planes and pickup trucks. I didn't even anyway. Right. Great. <laughs> yeah. But, um, amazing. amazing. Before we got all the way there, a lot of other shit happened. Uh, they got yeah. the plan. We get the Kevin Hart cameo, which was hilarious. And mm-hmm. Kevin Hart in certain doses is funny. Like, people try to hate on Kevin Hart, but yeah. in certain doses, in it certain contexts, it really works. And that shit worked. Yeah. Um, after they got the plane, then what happened? Uh, after they get off the plane, they go, uh, I think, don't they go take the stand? They go, uh, um, uh, take the uh, the newsstand where your boy uh, goes to get his newspapers. Not ringing a bell. Not ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> they um. So your boy's like he knows where um. Remember um. Uh, oh yeah, because the rock know. shows where where he likes to uh, yeah. he goes to this newsstand or whatever. Yeah, they, it's like they, only they, one newsstand sells that paper. Yeah, and then he uh then they go and because they, they showed that so obviously in some previous clip of 
um, they was watching, they was watching tape of that newsstand in that paper. I remember that clip. And they mm -hmm. go to the newsstand and they find your boy that that created the virus, and he lets them know that there's only two options that they have: murder Shaw's sister, or right. go to this top secret big compound base and steal this device. Yeah. And you know, of course, they go with option two, or else we wouldn't have a movie. Right. Uh, but in, but first they have to enlist. Uh, I guess Shaw's. X is what we we find out. We don't. But apparently she's ruthless. She's Fine. robbing the mob. Fine, Fine. She <laughs> Fine is so as gorgeous. a motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, who could shoot her? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah I shoot her. Yeah, well, upper club. Yeah. Listen, uh, <laughs> upper, upper ching, baby. Yeah, said it. We said it. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> um, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so they enlist her to sort of um, to pull and I'm say this too. About, for looks aside, right. that actress, had, that character had presence. Oh yeah, I enjoyed the whole. I got this. I'm not, we have a female mob, and they just like you, like you say, murdering this these mob niggas and they this, this gang. Like I ain't gonna front. I was curious yeah. to see more of this that whole conjunction. If they gave them some kind of form of spinoff, I think it'd be interesting. That's what I was gonna say. I was thinking that I was like, man, if this movie was like maybe a bigger hit, I, like they may be looking at spinoffs, and I'm like, damn, you know, she'd be the first one on the she'd list be right interesting, now, dude. Dog. I mean, like who, who else? Female we going squad. With? Yeah, fucking right. Oh yeah, just to see what the like that whole little bit. I'm more intrigued about them too. Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so they enlist her to go, and so we, we also didn't talk about the um, when uh, Shaw and his sister were kids. They used to pull off these little like theft uh, things that they yeah, gave they came code up with, names yeah. <laughs> that are like uh, rock stars and whatnot. So uh, this is one called the Mick Jagger, where apparently you know somebody grabs and runs and. <laughs> The other, I guess the other person is waiting around the corner to slap the fuck out of everybody trying to chase you. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I guess, the general idea of the Mick Jagger. Um, so that's the that's basically what they the the plan they enlist. They're gonna sort of sell um, sell your girl up the river, uh, Shaw's sister. Um, so she can get on the inside. Yeah. And while on the inside, you know, she could find the device and they're gonna break right. ass out that motherfucker. Mm hmm. And that um, leads doesn't to that plan. dope scene. Yeah. Doesn't lead doesn't lead us to plan, but they do. Uh, Shaw and Hobbs does para parachute in, and we do get that dope scene that you oh, uh, fighting through. I yeah. love that scene, son. Which man, I like li listening to you talk about it makes me feel like fuck. If I hadn't seen that scene like four fucking times already, it might play different to my ass too. And that makes you think, dog. Some <laughs> movies like, are probably better without than, it, without the trailers at all. Because again, I'm gonna go back to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, dog. I mm. think I'm gonna like that movie more when I watch it again, knowing what it is versus what I thought it was gonna be. I kind of want to see it again, but yeah, you're you're you know right. What I'm saying? Only out of that intrigue, but I, I'll never forget wanting to fall asleep like all through. Oh yeah, I'm not. Gonna never I didn't have that. a great experience that wasn't theatrically. Yeah, but I just feel like you know what I mean. Even if I had no trailers and I just put that movie on and just watched it for what it was, like mm -hmm. I feel like. I enjoy when I get on Netflix on Hulu at times and I just see, okay, this the cover of this movie looks interesting. I'm going to press play and see what it is. Mm -hmm. And you don't always get a hit, but it's cool to <laughs> not know. You know, it's cool to not know what may come next and I know where a story is going to go. You feel me? The last good do movie you, I did that way was Beats and Beats was, you know, a great, uh, great, well, it was a great one for me. Do you remember that, that Netflix used to have that thing where it's like, um, what are you in the mood for today? Yeah. Like you used to be able to hit the button and it like ask you questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, like, it doesn't do that shit anymore, but <laughs> like, I, probably I miss that shit. didn't give a damn about that. You probably was one of the only people doing it. It was like, because yeah, all it, it, it wouldn't always your brain up. It, no, they wouldn't always get your brain Right. They give you some shit movies sometimes, sometimes though. Sometimes, man, like, like, what one out of every twelve niggas was like? Yes, yeah, sometimes they give stuff you want to see, dog. But yes. yeah, but yeah, um, then other times you cut that shit off before you make it halfway through. That's all I'm saying, dog. <laughs> But uh, they they have that amazing scene where they, where Shaw has to beat like a million people love while the Rock just knocked out one nigga has to wait for this dude to do like they just comparing yeah. styles it's just a great scene and then yeah. um he, they do all that for each other to still kidnap these niggas strap them to chairs and give villain monologues while he electrocutes them damn it to death yeah when they like I like I've heard other people reference it and like I thought I was the only one that sort of felt it but it it had like a remnants of that uh, you ever seen Tango and Cash no. Like they have like they so it's like Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. Oh, that's old school, old, old school shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah and Sylvester yeah. Stallone got the glasses and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit. Right, I right. haven't seen it in years, dog. Right. I don't remember the beats at all. But I'm, I know what you're talking about. Like it scarred me as a kid watching them like get tortured. They were in prison at one point. Like motherfuckers just dipped them into some electrocuted water. You saw the ass like fucking frying and yeah. shit. 
Um, and it reminded me kind of that, and like other people kind of make the, the uh, reference, like that they kind of do hit a, a couple other beats from that movie. Now, granted, I haven't watched it in years either. Uh, but I mean, so, to I me, mean, I would I, call I it homage. The movie's I'm, called yeah, Hobbs yeah, and Shaw. Yeah. So to take from Tango Going and Cash, cash yeah. that's just playing homage to me. It like, seems, yeah, yeah it seems now, appropriate. See, sometimes people just want to nitpick when them niggas might have done that on purpose yeah. to give a send up to buddy action films. You know yeah. what I mean? Nah, give them that. I'm going to give them that. I'm going to give them that as them doing their homework. You know what I mean? Because I did feel for them getting electrocuted, dog. Because that's the thing about it. When you, I like that scene and I didn't like that scene. I like the scene mm -hmm. for... You finally get to see them not look like invincible superheroes <laughs> because they was in pain. Uh, I mean, they. I mean, you. I mean, yeah, you, I'm you, a, you a, and me would nigga. not take that many jokes of electricity. Sure. Yeah. But. But I'ma just say they uh, broke themselves from their own chairs. <laughs> oh, I'm saying before that, that's a different scene, my nigga. I'm nigga, just saying when they were in the changed? chairs. What when changed? they were in the chairs, my nigga. What changed? And we have this whole exposition they dump. The whole time. From Idris Elba telling us about how his whole history with Shaw and how Shaw put a bullet in his head because mm -hmm. he didn't want to join up with the shadow organizations and the fairy schemes to make better human mechanical beings. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. so now Idris is really getting his revenge. But the mechanical, the, you know, the voice box nigga, and this would piss me off too. I was on Idris' side. Voice uh, box nigga, you know what I mean? Evil motherfucker going, yeah, get Hobbs and Shaw on our side. And I Idris tried like, that. nigga, no, like, you, you I got killed trying to just get Shaw on my side. Yeah. He's not the type of niggas that I could turn. Let's murder them. That's why he probably took it early on him. I'm easy on him earlier. And so it's like mm. my G, like him trying to turn them later. I'm like, dog, Idris, you know you ain't about Brixton, you ain't about to turn these niggas. I don't even know why we mm. playing. Now I don't tell I don't know why also that you tell us that a man can only take three of these jokes and you hit him mm, with it at four. least six that now more than four. Because when you hit him with three well, when he hit him with three, they still was living. And I'm looking yeah. like, yeah, you sure it wasn't five? I feel no. like he hit him with two more after that. He told him, he, that would he, cause, no, because, okay, so here's the thing. He said, we know we learned that a body could take only three. Yeah, and he hit him with them three. But Hobbs say, I bet we could take five. Yeah, he did, five or six. And he got that first one. He got the four. Yeah, but I thought four. he made it to five. Oh, no, I thought. Oh, I, I thought. No, he well, he gets interrupted for the lab before he gets to five. But I thought, he got the I four. He got shot five times. Either way it go, them niggas kept getting shot. And meanwhile, Shaw's sister has found the device, but she see Hobbs and Shaw about to get murdered. So mm -hmm. she tried to save them, but he, she don't realize that their guns is like fingerprint protected, which we'll find out for a reason later that they use script wise why they made it that way. Uh, but uh, yeah. she don't really save much of shit, and then like you said, they basically break out their own chairs and kick everyone's ass. Yeah, it's like oh, and but we lose the uh, the doctor who was oh yeah, that's right. How, I can't remember how he got kidnapped. How did he get back into the hands of? Brixton that? went and got that nigga because he knew that um they went and visited him, and he basically said. Um, you gonna operate this device for us, or we gonna murder you? All right. And then they kidnapped him. Remember that this cool scene we had the flamethrower and almost set that nigga on fire. Mm -hmm. That flamethrower bricks through. That's when he said bullet schmullets or whatever the hell he said. Now I'm like, <laughs> you lucky you Idris Elba, and you lucky you holding a flamethrower. You look too badass for me to really be that mad that you're saying dumb shit. I think that was the majority of that character. Like, see, I see what you're saying because yeah, like all I didn't even think about it that way. Yeah, like <laughs> all that shit did play for me. Like a six foot something, big, big, attractive British black nigga talking <laughs> swaggy shit. Like I that's going to a little different. You know what I mean? Like that's going to play in a, in a way that's going to forgive shit. Just like The Rock, nigga. People often say The Rock can't act. That's what I would say to that. <laughs> Acting is being believable under given circumstances. Becoming mm -hmm. a completely different person from yourself is a part of the craft, but mm -hmm. it's not all that acting is. Okay. So, given just saying that acting is being as believable as possible and within given circumstances, yes, The Rock can act. The problem is he can only act like The Rock. <laughs> I won't call it a problem. The thing is, he like he is only himself. I think I've said this before. There's a case to be made. People say this about Bill Bellamy, but you can say this for The Rock as well. That all of The Rock's characters is the same guy going through something other shit in a different day. There's not that much that different about the majority of them. If you take like except from like when he was in Be Cool, when he was you know when he was the big gay dude, yeah. but. 
<laughs> Most times, man, like the nigga from Walking Tall could be the coach from Gridiron Gang, could be the nigga from Rampage, could be the nigga from Skyscraper, could be Hobbs, could be it, wait, G.I. Joe and Hobbs. Not the, the, damn, that's almost the same motherfucker. It's like, there's so many of the Rock's characters. Like, I'm like, when you start to mention G.I. Joe, nigga, I'm like, then damn, not that's Hobbs. Like, lead together, nigga. No, you, 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 fact, you eat Hobbs and, and G.I. Joe, nigga, mix up easy. Yeah, the goddamn same nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But he's uh, yeah. always believable and charming and such. But yeah, again, yeah. I just I'm, he's just not gonna be no Jeffrey Wright or no Gary Oldman. I'm not expecting that from him. And he understands his lane and he shines in his lane. Yeah. So um yeah, dog. So we have this huge action set piece of Hobshaw and Shaw um sister escaping with things blowing up and Briggs chasing them. We even get this big ass fight with Briggs every time. Briggs Brixton, he's just have a character whooping right. their asses. See, yeah, we have a like reason for why he's so way. super, and uh-huh. they show it to us. But they should always have broken jaws. This is every time, like we, he showed he has super something. strength, and he's yeah. he, he was punching the fuck out of them. Yeah, and my like, thing is, son, he was pretty much bulletproof. So even at the end of the movie when they jumped them, I understand the whole situation of hit him at the same time, and we gonna have some damage. But how much damage you getting on the bulletproof nigga? I imagine not very much. I, I this is, shit, like, is it just impact blows knocking his circuits loose and it's not really hurting him? Because I'm like, yo, uh, like, I thought that that like he got hit in the head or something and that fucked with his circuits or something like that. We gotta give I, that to them. We're gonna give that to you guys. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Later I feel, movie, I feel like I have that. Big fight. They just have the circuits in his head getting blown from impact. And I guess when he's being bulletproof, he's channeling it all to one direction. Because when she shot at him, he put his hand up. See, we're giving y'all well, a lot of shit, y'all, because it's really a flat hole. But anyway. Well, I, I thought that the... So the he's not necessarily bulletproof. The uh, That black suit that he wears, that's what's bulletproof. Oh, really? Yeah. So like if you like when you go, it's like, I'll shoot you in the fucking head. Like, that would have killed his ass. <laughs> oh, really? I but didn't like, know the suit was bulletproof because he had all these mechanicals in him. He was like, I'm a, a perfect man and I am evolved. You are just humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah this nigga say shit that, like, yeah. you stupid humans. I'm like, Idris, I'm like, Idris, nigga. you still human, nigga? Yeah. You just they, a cyborg. Yeah, and, and and they have you have an off switch. <laughs> oh, but you found very you quick. You have an off switch. So after the big hurrah escape from this big explosions at the big top secret factory and everything, and uh-huh. the thing is that scene there almost felt like an ending. Like they, they, it um, felt like the movie ended a few times at the garage factory. No, when everything oh blew yeah up yeah and yeah yeah, big yeah fight with yeah. and shit. You yeah, thinking that was huge, yeah. there's not that much movie left? That was a big scene of explosions and fighting and killing and bullets and, and everything they everywhere. They were they nowhere near done. 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 Then we go to Samoa. Michael Bay, baby. We go to Samoa and we see. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have this whole other plot line. The Rock, you know, what I mean, he has this falling out with his brother because he sold his dad into jail because his dad was his big time criminal and shit that was using mm-hmm. the brothers to do criminal activity. You know, basically right. admitting he was a snitch. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. that's why his brother got beef with him. So, you know, his brother snuck him when he got home. <laughs> but moms, yeah. moms came through and made the brothers make up. And yeah, moms is a superhero with a slipper. And apparently, you know, since his brother's a great mechanic, he can fix this broken, highly scientific device that can remove a biovirus from a person's body. You that's know, what he does, man. He because, fixes shit. Because he can fix cars. He can fix this device for some reason. We'll then, go with it. And that nigga couldn't fix my toaster. Yo, yeah, we'll go with it. So um, he's fixing Whatever. the device to get it done just in time for Idris and them sure. to find out that they're going to Samoa and find them there. Um, they figure out a way to, I guess, hack um, Idris and them weapons. So they decide to use like these tribal Samoan weapons because apparently moms and them sold all Pop's guns. Because Rock thought he was coming home to guns and weaponry. And yeah. he's telling Shaw like it's about to go down. And they just had like spears and shit. You know what I noticed the second time around was there was little drawn outlines of what guns were supposed to be where and shit. And it's yeah. like, and then there was that shit in its place. I was like, oh wow, that's that's fucking that's sad. Damn, I would have been ready if she had kept them fucking guns. <laughs> really though, really though. But then they got to get ingenuity with it, dog. So they set up all kind of traps, and you know they they you know they get smart with it, nigga. They uh they have, this is dancing with the uh, what the fuck Avatar. This is niggas like fighting with goddamn superhuman strength and shit. And y'all walking up in there with goddamn spears, chucking. Hey man, they did the all. Fuck this, is this shit. We this get, is crazy. We, we getting trapped. 
tribal Samoan heritage, war yes, cries sir. and shit when Idris and them yeah, get there. Yeah, my, my like, I mean, you can... culture, baby, just like an Aquaman, boy. Samoan people said you ain't gonna forget about us, man. Word. Um, yeah, like I like I, I don't I think maybe I told you this when we were at the end of the movie. But uh like, you know, it's like it seems like uh, The Rock can kind of make all his characters um, like Samoan or or like or like Hawaiian or whatever, or whatever. Like like he can he, like he basically like to kind of like kind of work that in. Hey man, Jason and Momoa, dog. Yeah, y'all and not it's go, like, we got culture. It's cool. like, and it's, I like that in one scene they even snuck this picture of The Rock and his actual dad. His dad's this black wrestler named oh uh, that was named Rocky Johnson. And uh, yeah, I this, caught the picture because right. it's a famous picture of him and his dad. That if you're a wrestling fan, you know the picture when Rock was a kid. But uh, so Word. that lends me to think that I guess your daddy was black and Samoa. I'm going to just ride that and let me ride Oh, it. yeah. I'm going to take it. I'm going to just take, take it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll let it happen. And how many I'll kids did that, 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 that they have, though? Because how many of them was his brothers? We don't ever, we never got clear on how many was his brothers. Like, but how a many? Lot of yeah, yo, cut. Like, I'm like, thank God. They got women. I was like, Jesus Christ. This is crazy. I thought it was just all y'all. <laughs> hey, brothers. the mama. Like, like what's going on with this, this island? Is, this is bad, man. Y'all got to do something about this. And you got to block some women in. And then a big epic battle between the Samoan Brotherhood and uh-huh. Idris and all his soldiers. The soldiers didn't have no weapons. So they had to fight it out. Idris kicking all the ass. At least this big yeah. chase scene where they driving, and that's when the Idris, Idris is hunting them down with a helicopter after even kidnapped Shaw's sister, and they wait. Dope action scene. Yeah, there's this countdown wait for the, because you know, of course, Rock's brother fixed the machine, the machine is get, extracting the virus from Shaw's sister, Idris yeah. captured her during the melee of the big Samoans versus spy fight, and he hops in the helicopter, and the Rock and Hobbs and Shaw are like, we're going to chase down the helicopter, and they do all this dynamic shit. Not only shit. Us. We have a Fast and the Furious brothers. moment. Yeah. You hear me? Where the cars are connecting oh, and they throw play, this baby. chain out and it captures the freaking helicopter. And like I said, the rock is on the back of a pickup truck holding a helicopter by a chain while everyone's driving it connected and explosions are happening. And the yeah. guns come back on. And everything just comes to this big ass screeching halt when everyone blows up again off the side of a mountain, crash many feet down, and no one dies. Leading us to this big epic battle of Hobbs and Shaw jumping Idris Elba's character. And for the longest, Idris Elba's character like is beating the living fuck out of them. Mm-hmm. And then on accident, they realize, well, if we hit him at the same time, it we hurts can, them. Yeah, we could actually land a blow. Teamwork. Let's Teamwork. work together. And All every right. other 90s trope of two guys that have to work together in a buddy action film that you've ever seen, they realize that by working together, we can accomplish anything. Yeah, we can take down Black Superman. We can take down Black Superman. We work together. And they jumped his ass. It was a pretty cool fight. And Uh, at times it went a little extra with the um, you know, slow motion shits. But I understand they were trying to sell show show us that, you know, they're hurting him, they're hitting him. Blasé, blasé. And yeah. then, uh, then every, oh, and then, then Sha, Shaw's sister has to get save herself. She saved herself a lot in this movie, yo. She was a badass. And, uh, she, you know, the virus is out of body. She murders a nigga that um, Idris told to murder her. Mm-hmm. And uh, they have this big ass, you know, standoff talk with Idris. For a second, you think he might join a squad or something. And nope, Mr. Claw, uh, evil Charlie, uh, turns him off. And Idris falls off a cliff after getting his ass whipped. And he's yeah. dead. Right. And you know the 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 gang get the ride off into the sunset and chill in Samoa and the movie pretty much goes off, <laughs> like for real. <laughs> they whooped his ass yeah. and, and that's had a little it. moment. You know, and I mean, then they both go back much, to their business. Yeah, you know, the rock flirting with that man's sister because they had a little kiss moment and unnecessary. And I mean, yeah, you know, but they actually fucked. We just didn't see that scene. You know, of course happened, right? they fucked. Yeah, and we happened. missed one of the freaking um, extra scenes, but we did catch the one with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, the basically first one we're begging for Hobbs and Shaw too. Yeah, and the great scene though, funny scene. Like I said, I liked way more than I did. Um, you get some great shots, some I, great action. Here's what I I, I funny shit. I th- I was like, yo, I don't I don't care to go back and finish this movie. Like, remember, I like so I, I had to see it twice, and um, having to see it a second time, getting to actually see the connective tissue that I missed, having to sort of step out. Like periodically because motherfuckers calling me telling me did I take my keys with me? No, motherfucker. How would I take? Why would I take my keys with me? Somebody at work? No, at 
And when I, I, I left my car to get um to get repaired, like my tires just to get repaired, mm -hmm. and then they had to fix like some uh, some shit on my battery, or they had to sw actually swap out my. Battery oh, you saying why would I have my keys if you guys are fixing my car? Yeah, like I gave them. Well, here's the thing: I gave them to the guy, and we go out. Anyone like let me just do a survey of the car, or whatever. So he goes out and he does his thing or whatever. I grab my stuff out the back seat or my jacket, you know, because it gets cold in that motherfucker, and um, I walk. I start walking away. So they call later on and like, did you take the keys with you? And I'm like. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. He's like, oh, okay, because we couldn't find the keys. It's oh, funny it now, nigga. It's funny but now. The time is not funny. It is funny now, but it was not funny at the time. Not at all. And then they called me back again, like five minutes later to tell me, oh, hey, yeah, we found your keys. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> everything's under control. Everything's under control. Like, <laughs> we got everything under control. I'm like, oh my Jesus Christ! All right, man. Thanks. I right, appreciate it. All right, click. <laughs> and then, um, so I had to leave. Maybe shit. When did I leave? I left somewhere around that final battle. Um, it had started. It had turned to daylight, and maybe had been there for about a minute and a half or so. But I had to leave the first time. But um, having to step in and out because they kept calling, you know, periodically about shit. Um, I missed a lot of that shit. Like, I missed her injecting herself and, like, mm -hmm. just a lot of, like, connective shit that I was like, oh, okay, well, this time around, oh, well, this kind of flows a lot better. Yeah. I, I definitely, because I was down on it that first viewing. Yeah. And then, like, the second one, I was like, well, I'm not going to say I'm going to add this to my DVD collection, but I I did enjoy this. You know what I mean? It's one of those things, so, if it's on, I'll watch it, but I'm yeah. not going to pursue it. Yeah, it's like, but it also, too, it made me appreciate the other Fast and the Furious movie. I mean, people make the comparison, and I have been making the comparison, at least from the last one, because to me, I thought the last one wasn't the best of in, of entries that they've had in the in the last couple of them. But anyway, comparing that one, though, to this, I was kind of like, well, man, y'all had that memorable scene where y'all were just like, you know, throwing quips at each other in the jail. And I'm, oh fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got stop. I got stop. Ah, sorry. I yeah, forget you're gonna watch. I'm, I'm gonna watch. Sorry, it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna catch up on. They Fast have and the okay. Furious. So just making comparison, they have dope. They have two dope scenes that that are memorable to me in that movie, and they don't like action sequences. And in this one, they like. I'm trying to think of one. Like I, I did dig the 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 oh, the scene when he's when the rock jumps out of the building and that whole little they thing. jump out of the building scene's good. That scene at the top secret base is good. We saw um them them fighting each other that was one, cool. I, yeah, see, like um I, I liked I, them jumping trying to every trailer. time they fought Idris was cool. Nah, yeah. man, I'm not gonna let go. They had some good fighting, dog. They did. They I did. liked this movie because they were but very you saw different it in the fighters. Trailers. If you saw, I, don't I watch the trailer, the trailer. Well, fuck the trailer. Don't watch it. No, for real. I would watch a Hobbs and Shaw too, though. Um, I would watch another film. I wish it made more money um, than it did. Hopefully, they. I would watch a part two, like just like I, I wanted it to do. I wanted it to do good. I mean, but it's currently feeling like the solo of this franchise. So apparently, The Rock isn't a part of the Fast and the Furious main family anymore. That they're going after John Cena. Is that yeah? John Cena's that? gonna be in the next Fast. Yeah, I'm like sure. uh, that. Uh, that kind of. We'll see how it works. Yeah, okay. John Cena getting a lot of shit right that? now. What's hey, man. Shit is that? It is what it is. But like, yeah, that was a Hobbs and Shaw, man. I right. dug it. Marty kind of think it Kinda. was okay or whatnot. Okay. And man, that's our take on that joint. Um, yeah, but hey, I got, I got, I got stubs. Did I stubs? Makes <laughs> everything okay. What's stubs. out right now? What's out worth seeing? I don't know. You know, I wanted to check that out. Um, I don't, I don't honestly know. Let's. Uh, Let's take a quick peek, though. I don't know what's out we're seeing. What should be the next thing we see? I know uh, the next time we link up, we're going to talk some euphoria. Yeah, I was just actually, I had to pause it to to, to come over, man, because I was... Oh, you watching the last episode? Yeah, man, I got like maybe 20 minutes left. Yeah, I just started the last episode. I'm 10 minutes in the last episode. So, like, yeah, we could talk euphoria next go around. No what's interest in, in the kitchen? No interest in the kitchen whatsoever. Uh, that bitch fly. Scary, yeah. Scary stories to tell in the dark? Nope. No interest in that one? Okay. Nope. Uh, Brian Banks might be cool. Brian Banks, yeah, I was kind of interested in that one. Um, yeah, it looks like. Enemies, Lion King is still out once upon a yeah. time. Spider Man said, I never saw Toy Story 4. I don't think I'm going to get to that till it comes back. You never saw Toy Story 4? Yeah, I missed oh, it man. for some dumbass reason. Oh, okay. Avengers oh. Endgame is still in theater somewhere. Yeah, they're still trying to. They already, built, oh. they already beat Avatar. 
Oh, well. I yeah, guess they won. Nowhere close, at least. But anyway, y'all, yeah. we, we about to get about you, man. Shout out to guy, Mr. Bats, man. Hit us up at reviewingdat at gmail.com. As we always say, you refer it, we review it. I'm still taken aback that we don't have the episode. We got to find that episode. That, uh, that the end, end time. time, man? Fuck. Right. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm down to do it again, dude, but it's like, fuck, man. We, we recorded that, bro. Put I like you to know that we that shit exists. Peanut did send us another review to do to get us revitalized, and we'll do end time and whatever you send us because <laughs> dude, we put two hours in on you end doubled, time. You doubled, you doubled that man down. Like, look, listen, I ain't got what I promised you today, son. <laughs> but we put two listen, hours. Give me in. another one, son, and then yo, son. I'm gonna come back to you on the good side. But it's, I, like, <laughs> it's like buying it. It's like if you it's like if you had a game and you broke it, but you like the game, you gotta go buy the game again. And you're like, fuck, who likes buying the same thing they already had twice? Oh, We already got so in-depth on that freaking movie the first time that the fact that yeah. some kind of way it got deleted or doesn't exist bothers the hell out of me. Don't that get me wrong. We I have to you. keep our promise and give I feel it. You. But yeah. making it the next thing that we sit down and review after doing it for two hours, man, gives me gives me anxiety. That's why I'm like, Peanut, please. Uh, just yeah. tell it. Wait, hold up. Didn't Nigel tell us to review something? This shit. I gotta check that email again. I feel like. Someone told us that last recently one was long to review something. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll let y'all know. But Marty, know. tell them what he can find y'all so we can get about you. You can find me, Marty, M A R T Y Edwards 504 on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap at the chat. Also, go to lowrainpictures.com, click on the Your 30 tab, like, rate, share, give a comment thread. There, we will, uh, you know, give us five star review on iTunes. We'll read it on the show. I uh, co host the show there with the arrogant observer. Or, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I'm high, y'all. You Let's hear him? High? Do you hear him, ladies and gentlemen? Let's take that again. My dog is high as hell. He wow. Is, I am. I'm gone, baby. I'm, I'm rattling off things. I don't even remember. We're going to take this, though, again. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. We're going to take that again, uh, uh, Jimmy. All right. Appreciate you. All right. So, um,. <laughs> You can find me at LorianPictures.com where I co-host the show there with What's his name? Black Actopedia. That's right, the Black Actopedia, also known as the Arrogant Observer. You're 30 with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. This week, Arrogant Observer has a solo episode up, so uh, check that out. He is ranting because ranting is what he does, and when he gets to ranting, he is ranting. And uh, yeah, check that out. Um, I believe yeah. It's because you did have your car, right? To have the episode we recorded to wrap up I the forty eight shit. I did. I'm gonna do that. That'll be the like the next thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do that tonight. Actually, I was gonna post that tonight. So yeah, check out the your thirty feed for a check special forty eight hour wrap up. Uh, finally putting the nail in that coffin for this yeah. year with me and Marty that we it recorded cool. earlier. Yeah. You dig? And uh, yeah, that's that. Also hit up flywithbats at gmail.com if you want to talk to the main cast. We finally got another side A up. As we always say, we want you to be part of the conversation. You hear me? And uh, check out the most recent episodes of Acting While Black with Lance Nichols, with Trina Lafarge, with Tanya Wavers. I got one with Edward Buckles and E. Jazz Mason dropping soon. I got one with Decoy Banks dropping soon. And we got more people to interview very, very, very soon, man. I'm having fun with that. Having fun with that. But, you know, meantime, we out. We out there, brother. Dab. Do <laughs> do